And um, all right, do we want to start at the top and just go through? Oh, you have this printed out. I did. I didn't know if you wanted it yep. hard copy or electronically. I did both. You did. So I figured. Yeah, it was in the drop box. Thank you. Yes. I like to kind of make manual notes as yeah. well. I'm also going to pull it up on my computer. So if we want to check and see what run yeah. through numbers, we can do that too. Good. I yeah, I need it. I need to make marks on the paper. So yeah, I kind of do too. That's that's fine. Yeah. I got highlights and questions in my online thing. So I'll leave that up for a while anyway. All right, you want to just start with the executive budget? Um uh, what would you like to do? Um my, the only things no, we'll do that at 5 30. Oh. Um, we can start with executive. Yeah, that's fine. But there are a couple, you know, I'll, I'll mention there's a couple outstanding items that we don't have the final numbers for. So that's right. going to sway things, especially in personnel administration and police is the big ones. Um, executive, we have a couple of minor things, but not anything that's going to like really sh shake things up tremendously. Um, All right, I don't know if I officially call the meeting to order, but I'll call the meeting to order. We're going to skip the minutes and everything and just go right to the budget. Perfect. So, executive budget, you have the wages, overtime, and elected officials all in yellow. Yes. Does that mean that's not? Um, that is, that is, I guess, tentative. Um, if as long as the board is okay. Right now, we put for all non union employees for 2023. Um, a 6% COLA. So that's why that's highlighted, just in case we wanted to discuss potential, you know, revisions to that. What does your green and red mean? My green and red is if it was over a 5% increase, it's going to be highlighted in red. If it's under, if it, the, the, the budget item went it's down, it's green. Right. Oh, gotcha just for a way to easily identify kind of where the, the variants are. Yeah, and the, so the um, overtime wages are down because we're only gonna do 30 meetings instead of 52 projected. Correct. Um, so that saves on the overtime for the recording. Correct. All right, and I'm assuming that that wages includes the number that we discussed for you, but we have yet to sign your contract, which we I assume will meet in non-public tonight to um, correct clarify and finalize that. Correct. The only reason why you're seeing that it's not like the increase by the 6% or a much larger increase is because when we, um, part of uh, Chief Beard's wages were in the executive budget oh, right. for his code enforcement. Mm -hmm. So we obviously took him out his 50% of his wages. I think it was 20 hours of his salary was um, attributed to uh, the executive budget. So now that we just have that as him as the fire chief and the health officer with the stipend, those wages are have remained in fire, but they're out of executive. Okay. And then we moved Ryan from planning because code enforcement was always an executive and that's truly what he's doing for the town. We moved him into executive. So that includes Ryan or half of Ryan's salary or his annual wage and removes Ryan. Okay, so in the top line of wages. Yes. That includes one half of Ryan's. Correct. But, but nothing for Ron. But nothing for Ron, correct. And that was only half Ron anyway. It was half Ron, correct. Yeah. The other half of Ryan is in fire. Other half of Ryan is in fire. Fantastic. And all of Ron is in fire. And all of Ron is in fire. And that's just a stipend. That's just his stipend, his um, chief. Yeah, his nine, nine, yeah. nine. something a month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, just going down, the, the Linwood Chamber annual dues, was that... Um, did that just go down from what they billed or? Yes, that's what we paid last year. And John said, I actually didn't know why it went from 19 to 17, but we just put in what our expenditures so that was the actual yeah. from last year. Yes, perfect. All right, um, I don't have any questions on that, but I do want to open up the discussion for the across the board 6%. I don't know if you want to talk about that now or at the end. Um, no, go ahead. But that's that's the 
that's the wage that's increase for all full time non union employees. Non union employees. What about part time? We usually increase the part timers as well, I believe. So that's the same. Home. So it's the same, same rate. Yes. Okay. Um, I will just say that, you know, there's been obviously a lot of talk about COLA amongst the municipal managers and where towns are going. And I think this is probably um, a lot of people are coming in at that five, six percent range. There are a couple of towns that are doing what the Social Security index is, is that 8.7, which I just think is crazy high. That's <laughs> my, my personal opinion. Yeah. Um, especially with the 5% that we had last year, you know, across the board and the wage adjustments. Um, so that's where I, I put the principle of six. I mean, my, my thought is I'm good with that. I'm good with it too. That, that um, we need to do something to, to, to keep up. We, we've already talked about specific people who... Um, we, we don't want them to, or not, I am sure to say specifically, we don't want people to leave yeah. right? because they can earn more. I mean, seriously, at Walmart. 15 minutes on the you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we had Dunkin' Donuts paying more than a lot of our key employees last year. So, yeah. or the year before. A couple of years ago. Um, but we, yeah. we've adjusted them. <laughs> Absolutely. But I think this is, I mean, we have to keep up with inflation. I mean, inflation, if you look right. at the cost of, Heating oil, exactly. yes, I call today heating oil, five something a gallon. Yeah. Two years ago, it was two something a gallon. Absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, just the cost of gas, although they said gas may come down based on what we do in the Mideast and with Russia. But uh, still, I, mean, we can all I, hope, I think but... it's well deserving the cost of food. Nobody's coming down with their costs. Exactly. And, you know, we Things want are not people to cheaper. stay. Um, so give them a fair wage. And, and we want to be fair and provide a living wage. You know, it's, we want good people making a decent wage and not, um, you know, we don't want to pay peanuts and not keep, keep people. So. Right. And you don't want yeah. to, I don't want to say nickel and dime it, but you don't want to set yourself up to be in a position where three years from now, like you had to do previously, you got to jump everyone up 10% because right, right, that's right. what the, the the labor market exactly. did to, you yeah. know, to the scale. Right. Um, so if we could try to remain competitive, we're never going to be number one, you know, but as long as we're not dead last either, you right. know, we want to be yeah. competitive and somewhere in the pack. Yeah, I'm good with it. Thank you. All right. Then let's move to the second budget is, oh, sorry, second page. Right? Second page, Executive. yeah. Executive. Yeah, you're going to see one big jump that we have in the second page is obviously our audit. Our financial audit went from the uh, 16.3 to 19.5. Um, that was based on, um, you know, the auditors knew obviously their new cost rate, but they have said that um, for years now that they haven't been uh, billing for any of the additional services that they do above and beyond what their original contract was for. And it was a policy-wide, you know, a company-wide decision that they need to start starting to recoup some of those. Mm -hmm. um, so we also locked in with them. We asked if it was going to be such a jump, if we could have a three-year budget rate for them. And we locked in with a three-year rate for them, um, where the increase was, I think, 500 the first year and 1,000 the second year, very minimal increases from now until the uh, 2025 is when the, the three-year contract. Right, event. we looked at that. We did, yes, a couple months, months, probably about a month ago. Yeah, yeah. That. All right, the appraisal maintenance uh, line items dropped, is that just due to less less um projects just meeting a, yes so i i think you were uh i think in 2022 you were anticipating because it was the year after the rebow right. that there was going to require the assessors yes. to do a lot more work to relook at numbers go through all the abatements mm -hmm. do you know stuff like that mm -hmm. where um we don't anticipate having you know a huge influx of abatement right. of abatements this year and then how do we know what was spent on that last year? This year? Um, I don't, let me see if I have that line item cut out, but yeah. I don't have that number right in front of me, but I can find it for you. No I'm just curious how close we were. I think we actually fared well. I think we had a, 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 a 
less abatements than we anticipated. Okay. I think we were anticipating having 40 or 50 and we only received about 25. So Fantastic. I think we're in okay shape. All right. And then the two vision um, line items that were highlighted in yellow at the same amount, those just not finalized? Um, the vision, yes, correct. We are we are waiting on updated numbers for them because we are um, doing an update with them. So we just put in placeholders for what we paid last year. And the certified computers as a workstation, it's not covered under the contract. What workstation is that? Um, all of our surfaces are not covered under the contract. Oh, only okay. the desktops, only oh, the, oh. the major gotcha. stations are covered under the total care okay. package. Any surface is not, any laptop is not. Um, those are included in that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Last year we budgeted for um, finance coverage for sick and vacation time. Yes. Is did we use that? No. Okay. And you know, John is comfortable um, taking that out. Okay. So. And then you'll see we budgeted one surface replacement. Yeah. Is that, do we know which one or is it just in case no, one No, I think goes? we decided we were just going to okay. put one in just in case one goes. Whoever yeah. needs it. First come, first serve. <laughs> right. I mean, as far as they're concerned, that you know, these all need replacing. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, they don't. However, I hardly use my I'm word. not the professional. So yeah. if, like you it. know. I, 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 I like this, my I use, this. <laughs> I use my Mac. This is this. My, see, I my use this all the time. See, I love mine too. I didn't think I was yeah. going to like it at first because it's smaller yeah. and um, I use it all the time. I, I I use it all the time, and I upgraded mine this year, so um, I'm in good shape for a while. Okay. And I use it like all the other committees and stuff. I'm on mm -hmm. in town here. I use yeah. it for that too. I just everything. Yeah. No, everything. Anyway, yeah, mine won't need replacing. I think it's been good. <laughs> Good when my three or four times. Oh, you know. you've been talking about getting on this train. Yeah, yeah. the budget. I just forwarded it to myself. To yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. Place it over from that. All right. Um, the statewide communication annual service plan was a thousand twenty last year. That's highlighted, but there's nothing in there. I know, and this what's, is what's, this is the fun stuff. Um, so we were notified a couple of weeks ago that our current phone system, they're called AI, AIAs, AIAs, something along yeah. those lines. Um, they, that company is, has gone under or gone out of business and they're no longer, they're essentially obsolete those phones. So we won't have any maintenance agreements with those phones anymore. Mm -hmm. And essentially they statewide is telling us that we need to get all brand new phones because they aren't going to work with them anymore. Mm -hmm. So we are getting quotes from statewide communications, also Mettel because they also provide a, a, a telephonic service for us. And um, we're trying to get a third to see what a annual cost would be. The first, the first bid we got was for us to buy out the 27 phones or however there are many are um, as, as a bulk purchase. And that came in at about $18,000 to do so. Uh, the second quote we received would be to lease those phones and we would just pay a monthly reoccurring fee for them, which is only would cost us about seven grand for the install and to have CCS do their thing and whatnot. So we're, we're tending to lead, uh, lean towards the cheaper version of things. But um, the benefit of going with Metal, which was the higher quote at first, is that they would do everything for us and we could get rid of statewide because right now we have three different vendors to figure out our phone system. So we're trying to see if, if Metel will do a lease purchase similar to what statewide is proposing. So that number is still up in the air what our, you know, our fee is going to be with them. Would that be with Metel? Would that be a lease purchase of the current phones that we have? No, brand new phones. Brand new phones. Brand new phones. Have you talked with other municipalities to see what they've had, the experience they've had with these companies? And, you know, when you just mentioned a $7,000 upfront cost, what's their annual uh, maintenance cost going forward? Sure. You know, you've got a new product. Um, 
you know, if, if other companies have done that. Yeah, no, they're built into the contract. What are the, they show us what our lump sum will be, okay. and then they also show us what our monthly reoccurring will be fees will be, and how that will break down. Um, I went through a similar scenario when I was working in Campton and we had to do a full reboot of all new phone systems and whatnot. And I would say that 18 grand was right in the price range and that was two years ago. So yeah. it wasn't radical by any means. So that number is still, like I said, up in the air. All right. And then the next one down, the um, gas B75 is blank. Yes, we're waiting for a quote for the auditors from that because that is for our post pension liability where we use, they hire an actuary to do that information for us. So we're waiting for an updated quote on that service. Okay. Is is that with the same um, C, not CMP that does our regular audit? Or is this a different no, this, uh, this would be um, Vashon Fouquet. That's what I meant. Yes, um, they hire a consultant or an actuary that is it's through their firm but it's their own they sub it out they sub it out yeah. exactly okay and then the next one repair of equipment not covered under the contract yeah we're just kind of waiting. leaving we're waiting to see what's okay. going to happen right now, did we buy the next one the services for the budget committee did we buy those last year they never reached out to me saying that they wanted them. So didn't I they didn't, decide that they didn't want them. They put money in the budget last year. My recollection is, is that it, there was some wavering amongst the committee members on whether they wanted them or not. Um, they were looking at potential different avenues, maybe an iPad or some sort of tablet mm -hmm. versus a surface. And I think they put money in there to say, okay, we'll do something for some mm -hmm. people, but and nothing ever came to fruition. Right. Um, we do meet, the budget committee does meet on Thursday. Thursday yeah. So we, we can, can ask them that question. Right. My thought is to leave it at zero. Yeah. If they want it, decide what they want and have them put it in. We can reconsider and vote to, to sure. match their budget. I'm fine with that, but I'd say leave it at zero. Well, and that's why I didn't just go ahead and like purchase anything yet. I know that no. Tracy... Brumlick likes to, wanted a laptop because she's the one who does the minutes for the committee, but that was talked about in the discussions, but again, no one ever reached out and said, can you get us a laptop on order or can you get some other things on order? Well, there's $5,000 in there this current year. Correct. When right. when you meet on Thursday, yeah. I would find out if Tracy wants a laptop. I'll buy one right now. Right. She's, she does all the minutes and right. all right. that, just, just buy her a laptop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And the laptops are significantly cheaper than the, the Surface Pros. Mm -hmm. Right. About half the price. Is there any reason the budget committee would need the surface post as opposed to a, a, a laptop? No, I, I I asked Katie from CCS about that, why she quoted out surfaces, and she said that was a butch decision. So um, um, I don't really know why. Because like I said, I know you could get right. iPads for 300 bucks a piece. You know, if all they're doing is zooming in or looking at a budget online. Looking at They're looking at Excel spreadsheets. Correct. And, and I mean, for the time that they utilize, the period of time. It's a month, months, yeah, for you a couple know, months, yeah. So, I mean, it, you know. It seems silly to get everyone $2,000 yeah. plus services. Oh, and when I was on the budget committee for the years, I mean, we talked about the same thing, Tammy, that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And some wanted it, some didn't. Some still right. wanted the paper some copy, still so the they could make copy, notes, right, right, you know. Well, when you explained that um, if they do things on the personal computers and there's a lawsuit involving anything to do with they turn their stuff in mm -hmm. and it's and it's personal private doesn't matter business if you use the same computer you do your your um, business and your budget committee stuff and your personal stuff it doesn't matter it's all goes and so then they were like oh well then we need one mm -hmm. but then nobody ever followed up on that uh, right I'm, I'm not sure i mean that would be the case certainly with email or communication mm -hmm. if you get a static spreadsheet that you don't share with anyone, they would have trouble subpoenaing them. I, 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 yeah, I you opened an Excel spreadsheet on your computer. It's like, yeah, well, it's the same one that everybody else has. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. And I didn't send it to anyone. Right. I think we were I more worry. concerned with communication. With emails. Right. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, 
but again, they shouldn't be talking back and forth to each other outside of budget committee other than dates and times. Correct. I can't scheduling a meeting, right. change the meeting till Thursday. That's yeah. I need to zoom in. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And that's all that happens. I mean, it's for the most there's really yeah. no yeah. All right. Let's put if it's okay with you guys, I'd put that at zero. Okay. Um yeah. encourage them if they want anything this year to, to get it ordered at least. So that we can we can use the five thousand that's in this year's mm -hmm. budget. All right, and I didn't have anything else on that budget. No, I see this on the, the comment. Yeah, yeah, that's what's yeah. my question. So when we brought on the town car last year online, there was no line item. There was a lot of confusion of who's going to pay for the oil changes and the tires and all the maintenance and everything mm -hmm. that happens when the brakes go and whatnot. Um, so we've kind of just been friendly sharing it amongst the PD fire and myself for the most part. But we figure if we're going to have that car and we want to keep that car for mileage or insurance or whatever it needs yeah. to be, we should probably have a line item that we can address some of these things with. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's why it's in there. Nope. Now, and then everyone can point my finger and says, your bill and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask, because I know that this question is going to get asked if we're, we're spending theoretically um, Three thousand dollars a year. Saving, Are we yeah. saving three thousand dollars a year in reimbursements? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know. To be okay. honest, I don't know that question. I I will say that um, it ebbs and flows. The um, the the uh, how often the the vehicle is used. I think there was a significant period of time this year where it was in the shop for one reason or another, right. and um, it didn't happen till June. Is that right? Was it June when he got the new truck? and retired this one over. I believe that came on board before I came on board. I believe that they were taking lights off of it and doing all that stuff okay. last fall, last December, right before I came on board. Oh, okay. Yep. And then it spent a and lot that's of been time a lot spring. of time this spring. Exactly. Um I don't know. I, I think it's a good idea unless it's unless it's way, way more costly. Right. I think it's a good idea to have a town car that the town employees use rather than their own cars. Because then, if there's any liability. incident, liability, you know, yeah, I will say that I know for a fact the PD's taken it on multiple occasions for their training for some of their dispatchers and whatnot. I know the fire has as well. It's pretty much police and fire. Jane takes it to get the mail every day, you know, stuff like that. So, I would rather do that than have to buy another you know, police vehicle or fire vehicle. Have a shared vehicle that gets used for you get. Mm -hmm training right yeah absolutely site visits right. things like that oh i'm all for keeping it uh, no question right. um and and i like having its online i know i just know that 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 question's coming sure we should try to find some sort of an answer for it sure all right we're good with budget one yep all right town clerk Uh, the the wages are based on 25 an hour uh she is proposing to go to yes 25 dollars an hour she's currently at 22 i believe or 22 and change um that's uh, uh increase that she proposed okay um, this is her budget not this yours. is her budget right. correct right well she's an elected official that's how it's supposed to work correct just clarifying clarify. And I looked at the budget income, and I think she brought in roughly four hundred thousand um, dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, for motor vehicle, yeah, that's motor pretty. It's fairly average. Yeah. yeah. Now, is this the increase plus the six percent? No, that would just be her new instead, or be her new rate. Correct. Yeah, the only yeah. the only thing you're going to see is her upgrade to her clerk work software is the big is our her big ticket items uh, this year, um, which we really need to do. Um, John and I were actually just talking about that. Um, the two interfaces working together with the credit card companies and then going to our side of things is kind of a nightmare. So this upgrade to ClerkWorks makes EB2Gov and ClerkWorks all work together and talk to each other. So then she won't have to do it in multiple different systems, the credit card system and then the, the portals and you know all that stuff. So
Yeah, I was somewhat aware that that was, um, I think that you know, conversations on the side, but yeah. that, that that was uh, a real glitch in the system as we have it now. And I also see that as a um, an audit issue. Yeah. It because things things have to be done and then they have to be done again. And, and if you make a, a mistake here, but not here, then right. now you have two different numbers. And, and it makes reconciling the bank account for right. the motor vehicle a nightmare because it would get done on one day and processed on one day in ev to gov That's when someone goes online and punches it in. But then Kristen's not here till Friday to actually put the registrations in. So then clerk works is another day. And then that has its own payment processing. So that is going to eliminate the issue where it's all just one system. It's going to post on one day. It's going to track on one day. And she can say, I'm not going to process this today. It's going to be processed on Friday and all the dates line up and match. It's going to make reconciliation for Jana from what we are being told much easier. All right. Um, the annual conferences and seminars. Remember we talked about this last year. And, and whether we were going to fund or budget for an overnight stay, depending on where it is, because, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of our other employees yeah. don't, don't stay overnight. It's in New Hampshire. Correct. It's, it's, New Hampshire it's an hour away. Right. So, yeah. It's an hour away. We're not budgeting for that. Um, she did spend, I'm looking, dues, travels, comments, um, 800. Right. So she overspent. She did do an overnight time. stay this year. In Manchester? In Manchester. Um, and that brought her over budget by seventy five dollars. Eight hundred and seventy five. No, seven hundred. No, no. She had seven twenty five budgeted. Mm -hmm. Spent eight hundred, so she was over budget by oh, seventy five. Oh, okay. okay. Um. So is she doubling this because she wants to do two? She wants to do two. Oh, she wants to do two conferences. She wants to do two overnights. I'm fine with the two conferences, not the two overnights. What are the two conferences? One is in, one's a in Conway, one's in Manchester. One's in Conway and one's in Manchester, yeah. correct. One is, I think, like a spring or a fall workshop, and then the other one is their annual workshop. Oh, which okay. I think they're both beneficial. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm good with the two conferences, but not the two overnights. I mean, if she was going to Rhode Island or something, then, or, you know, Somewhere out of state, anywhere. I mean, much. going over to Conway and back isn't. No, we have people that do that every day. Exactly. Yeah. We do. No, we do. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Now I went to Littleton twice today, so I mean, no. Right. So what would so you propose? We reduce you, that to well, could you like find, seven fifty? That, well, could you find out what the two um, conference fees are? Sure. Um, and and reduce it to that. Whatever those conference fees are, minus the overnights. Um, and she's welcome to take the town car so mm -hmm. that she doesn't right. put get miles on her own. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, Any other questions with that? No, I'm good with that. Thank you. All right, elections and registrations. The big one there is the voting booths. The big one there is the voting booths. And I, I have talked to Kristen about she does have um, some remaining funds in bulk elections and the town clerk budget. So we talked about potentially purchasing them within these last couple of weeks of this year to try to take that out of 23 and absorb it into 22 if the board is okay with that. So then we could potentially get them online for next year's town meeting. Mm. Um, someone who works the elections, <laughs> yeah, I wrote yes on that. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 those, those booths, um, those booths in the butt are, I mean, I've seen better days. <laughs> she doesn't have much to think over we, when we want those. No, she's got about two grand left over, 2,800 left over in elections. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. And yeah. she's got 
eleven thousand left over in town clerk. Oh, because she didn't use the payroll. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's I, money I, there. There's money there. I think go, go buy Let's do it now. Okay. And she was in favor of that too. You know, she was just trying to budget for it in next year, but she was open to the idea. Yeah, I would buy them now and take them off. And then, yeah, okay. we could have them, take them right out of there. We have them for um, town meeting. That's fantastic. That would be great to have them. Yeah, meeting. that's what we were hoping for. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I bet you the town crew would be happy with that too, because yeah. those things. Those, it'll yeah, the pain, pain, yeah. 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 It is. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And you can't move them once they're set up. No. They and they're not sturdy. They're not sturdy. No. There's a couple of them that the, right. um, the clips that hold the shelf in mm -hmm. aren't. Yeah. You can line them up. Yeah. Right. But then one person bumps the sides and, oh, yeah. and then, then something slides out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, anyway. Okay. Definitely buy those if we can this year. Perfect. And she was looking at, first of all, we, we don't meet the guidelines either. For the ADA, group. well, with the right. with the number of booths that we have for the state, right? Because of our number of registered voters, I think we need one more or two more. I don't know, and that's exactly. using we, three at the table. With the three at the table, we still, still needed one. We still needed we one still more. Needed one. So if we buy a second set, we can get rid of the table mm -hmm. and yeah. meet right. the compliance. And meet the compliance. And each one of these pods has uh, a handicapped. Yeah, pa, one and of the three, one yeah. of the quadrants is a, is a handicap one, so we're always going to be ADA compliant. Yeah. We're always going to meet okay. that requirement. So I just think overall, yeah, she's, she's getting three. Do, she's getting three. That's price for three. Well, so it's twelve. Uh, subject. Yeah. OJ and I um, had somebody's ref um, about talking. Um, oh. Yeah, at, at the last election, and she made very valid points. She's a young lady. Michaela Briere is her name. She's in a wheelchair. And when she came in, there was like one or two handicapped accessible spots that are marked. And she said, this is ridiculous. Maybe if we could make one whole roll for that day. I um, mean, isn't that what she had requested of us, OJ? I mm -hmm. believe just at least temporarily um, for the election day so that people with the handicap um, can park and, and come in to vote. Sure. And I thought it was a very valid point. Yeah, well, they handicapped too, anyway. They, right. Oh, they, they just they, already they got it. Yeah. More than yeah. two, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Well, there's a lot of people coming to vote that have um, the disability. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Park, 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 yeah. Park, maybe, yeah, maybe those front spots right there. Are, yeah, and that's what we're And Nate, and I bet he can just get, you know, a, a sure. small sign on a thing you can right. count on the ground. I mean, yeah. you could do it. Laminate yeah. them and put them on a grade stake. Yeah, we also talked about getting the people not only who work the election but are out there, yeah, don't know, campaigning, parking in the back, parking out back, yeah, just because this became a, a, we an issue. We yeah. talked to, um, I think Dennis too, a few years ago. Um, oh, and, a lot at the end, yeah. uh, no, in the parking lot over there because. I think it was town meeting. Was it? No, it couldn't have been town meeting. It was for some reason we were here though, but it wasn't going to be. It wasn't a busy time of year. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Absolutely, park there." Well, you yeah. know, when you get to the the presidentials, those are the big ones. You know, and right. must have been it up. early November. It's not busy. He, he absolutely park over there. He said so. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, something to keep in mind. Okay. All right. So we good with town clerk elections? elections? Yeah. I'm sorry. Elections. elections. <laughs> Let's move on to legal. Okay. Absolutely awesome. Yep. I can't take all the credit. You know, no more lawsuits. You know, was, um, no, but not only that, but just people calling in. I mean, I looked at you know the expenses through November, and I think we only had a spend of sixty nine thousand dollars. Right. And so we're doing it absolutely great. I think uh, you know. You know, the policy that Karina has put into effect that staff cannot directly call the attorney. Mm, right. And, you know, they have to go through her. If it's valid, she can call the attorney. If not, she calls the New Hampshire Municipal Association, gets a legal opinion for nothing for the cost yeah. of our dues, annual dues. So right. I think you're doing a great job in that aspect. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. Like I said, I can't take a lot of the credit. I mean, I can take a little bit of the credit. I can't take it all. It's, I'll you know, take the credit. Okay. <laughs> Well, it, you know, it has it has a lot to do with some of the lawsuits we settled this year. It has, you know, it's not just us in, in, internally. It has a lot to do with, you know, kind of what happened over the course of this last 12 months. Um, I did keep it up a little bit because I do know we still have two outstanding, uh, you know, uh, litigations. And yeah. I didn't want to short side us too much. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm comfortable at that that 111. 
I'm good with it too. Thank if, you. If we run over, we'll take it out of your cell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Personnel administration. You might want to skip all this one because the yellow line. Can be know, it all line. depends. We didn't want to. We have numbers, but we didn't want to be um, uh, presumptuous and plug in, you know, six percent across the board without talking to the board first. And that all also okay, so has a lot to do with the union contract as Let's well. Let's wait on this one. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. So planning and zoning. Yes. Um, so you're going to see we are changing the structure of how the town planner gets paid. She's going to move from a hourly employee to a salary employee next year. I've already spoken about that with her. So you're going to see that her overtime wages, it's pretty much a wash, but her overtime wages um, are going to be um, part of built in as part of her new salary. And we're going to reduce that um, that overtime to the, the $2,000 mark. So fantastic. Um, yeah. I think it makes more sense. Now the two thousand would cover overtime for um, Lisa and Lisa and Ryan, Ryan yeah. ever needed yeah. anything, yeah. right? And I think she's already over the ten thousand dollars. I looked at the she uh, is. end of November, correct? For, you know, so well, I think that's a good move. Right, I, I'm fine with that, but I still don't want to see. A, a huge amount of overtime, even though it's not costing us by the oh, hour. Oh, agreed. It is, to be in this building at nine and ten o'clock no, at night no, is not no. a good lifestyle. Uh, Once in a while, an emergency I, or yeah. you know, special project that has definitely settled down. Um, okay, very much so. It's you know, I can get to be out by six. <laughs> you gotta be out by Good six thirty. You. you know, yep. um, a, a lot that contributes to this is she's been very busy having two zoning or two planning a month. You know, I'm you can go couple months in a row where she's meeting every week you know for three to four hours for the planning board or for the zoning board um so that plays a big factor in the way but i i i agree wholeheartedly that the 9 10 11 o'clock is uh right and hopefully if things in that department are under control right as a salary to right. employee if she's here till and we've been here till 9 10 o'clock at night on planning board yeah you know um it's easily but, done but, but, yeah. you know that week or the following week right Come she leaves late, early on friday late, exactly. she could leave, leave early on friday yeah. whatever yeah. and make up for that time as a salaried yeah. employee she's um, entitled to do that correct and uh, like i said it, we've we've seen a difference you know she still is you know one of the night owls here but we've seen uh it, it's gone from you know the like you said yeah. 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night to the more like 5 30, 6 30, and that I can handle. Yeah. Um, and so you're also going to see in the wages line, you see um, we, we bumped up the recording secretary a little bit. We want to get um, Judy to do the CIP meetings as well, because that also takes a huge amount of Carol's time to do the CIP. It does. I would agree with that. Um, so we wanted to bump that up slightly so we could have Judy do the CIP minutes as well. And she has agreed to do so if it's budgeted. Excellent. So, um, and then you see we are bumping up Lisa a little bit. Um, this is, um, we think, consistent with kind of where everyone else in a similar position is in the town. Um, and also you'll see it on the tax collector end when you get to the tax collector's budget as well, too. Okay. And then you, Ryan is gone. You see the planning assistant code enforcement and that it has was already uh, an executive, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. I love that the technical review meetings that's gone down too. Yeah, that's gone down. Not as much anymore. No, excellent. We're, right. Well, we are definitely still meeting, but we're just not meeting as, as much. Ray is not um, coming in person as much, and the meetings, rather than being two or plus hours long, right, right now about forty-five minutes. Excellent. So we'll cut that Good. down a lot. Good. Fantastic. Yeah, we're, we're spending about a thousand dollars a month on that. Those country council dues went that. down. Uh, yeah, North Country Council dues went down. And that was their that thing. Ran awesome. out. I have it in my book. That's what they proposed. Fantastic. So, yeah. Thank you. That works. I imagine it's a lot of the probably federal funding that they're getting as well. Yeah, probably. Awesome. Um, just going back to, to Ryan's right, uh, elimination in here. Does, does this budget change fit also in line with 
his line of chain of command? As in, uh, like, like if he, he was, reports, if he was yeah. in the planning department, I would expect that Carol, Carol would be his, super, his supervisor. Carol does not supervise any employees. Okay, he's in the executive budget. He's in the executive budget and because he, and he directly reports to you. Correct. That was just my We're, question. Okay. Either Ron or I sign his time card every week. Okay. The, the, going back to the engineering and technical review, yes. Is is a hundred percent of that line the cost to bring Ray Corber into those meetings? Um or other fees that we have. I would say the majority of it goes to Ray Corber, okay. but there may be, you know, um there there may be, you know. A consulting, a consulting, right? If we uh, needed to reach out to Weston Sampson for something, that's okay, where it would yeah, probably okay. come from. You know, it no, should be said one hundred percent, but yeah, the bulk of that's right. The bulk of that's right. Okay. The um, GIS online maintenance is that a contracted rate or is that an hourly rate? And we're just kind of guessing what what. Um, for which one? The GIS online web mapping. That web yes. Mapping maintenance. That depends on how many subdivisions, law line adjustments we okay. get. Okay. Yeah, on an annual basis. Okay. So we we pay them on a hourly basis. On an hourly basis, correct. Okay. I'm looking at, um, and I know this is only through the end of November. But under con on contracted services for um, monies expended, we still have we spent thirty eight six. Didn't we budget? Last one's didn't we budget eighty thousand dollars in that line item? Eighty eighty one two thousand. Yeah, we've right. spent thirty eight six sixty one so far. How much have we paid to that to, to Granicus? Um, I don't know. Um, have you paid them in full? We have not paid them in okay. full, and that's a big bulk because remember we went to a quarterly billing yeah. cycle with them, so we could try to recruit yeah. some revenue at the same right. time we're right. doing expenses. So instead of so I believe them. that's only two. I believe only we've only paid two quarters worth because I think we came, we started. Maybe it's three quarters. I don't think it's the full year though, but yeah. it, it's either two or three quarters. We only that's paid probably the in November. Difference. When did we stop paying them? I think we started paying them when they started doing all the backup, all the like the internal work. Well, I think that was in June or July. So, so I June, came, yeah. yeah. Um, we came online last month or, or not end of October, beginning of November. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we still owe them. We still owe them essentially part of that 30. Yeah. Five. Okay, good. So there's 42. Um, I imagine we'll get a bill left. from them anytime now, to be honest. And then I it's assume that, that, that the 35 that we budgeted for the technical reviews was not fully used if there was less meetings, yeah. less hours. Right. right. So that the, the, the two biggest items, we didn't come close right. to spending those. Right. Um, and one we, we budgeted at a lower amount of 20, and then the other one, it was just a matter of billing quarterly. Yeah, correct. And we didn't have to pay for two quarters. Quarters, correct. And essentially, we're hoping that that, that thirty one five for the short term rental management, we're going to see double that in revenue. Right. Yeah. Well, if we get the oh, six hundred, yeah. so we're right now we still got that six hundred. We're still hovering right around that six hundred number. That's a hundred dollars a piece. Hundred dollars a piece. That's thirty grand more yeah, than what perfect. you know the awesome. cost of the services. Right. Great. Thank you. Um, um, that mailing must be getting ready to be sent out, right? Yes. Yeah, we were. We actually had a, a, a inquiry today, and we test ran it with the woman online, a yeah. woman over the phone, and it worked out perfectly. So we're gonna probably push that out this week. Is it ready to? to oh, it's right. Oh, yeah. You can go right so now. I could go online. You could go on tonight and do it. Come Yeah, absolutely. Um, I flipped to the next page already. They um, did we buy a um, fireproof cabinet yet? Uh, no, but so that's why I kept the rolling map storage in there to do the cabinet with that because I think we're okay well, with that. That cabinet has its own line out of the next one down office equipment. Oh, that was strictly for that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just random supplies. 
Um, oh no, the line underneath that, the right, right, six right. one next right. category. Yeah, yeah. next category. Uh, no, we haven't bought a fireproof cabinet yet. Um, I think part of it is we don't know where we'll put it. Yeah, we, we had talked it. about that. Yeah, we, we got to rearrange that whole front executive office because of some stability in the structure mm -hmm. and the floor. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we get the new building, all of those can get out of stairs. Yes, that would yes. be a perfect place. It would be a perfect place. But in right. the meantime, we need we need two. We need two. Six months ago, we need two a year ago. We need yeah. We need more. We need four. You can't fit. <laughs> I, I mean, well, I know. I, we need I know. to. in one of her right. files. Mm -hmm. We need to get yeah, one ordered, is. even if it ends up in, in the, here in the hallway right. near the stairs there, um, because the ones in that room you can't get in and out of them. I can't. You can't file anything in there. When I go yeah. in to give them a hand, it's it right. literally it, you can't get any more in there. Um, All right, we'll get one on order to start. Well, and the and last it's time, still budget for one next year, so we can put another one in with the other. Right. The last time we we also need some ones that aren't fireproof either, just well, kind of generic. Those though. we can the, get the okay, last time, supply store. Well, no, if we talk to um, Ray, they still Ray have the some. Oh, give okay. yes, they, they had they and they were some. working on slowly emptying what they had. So he said, "Don't buy them; just let them know." Okay, he doesn't have any. Fireproof ones, though, right? No, he didn't have any fireproof ones. Well, the last time we needed um, fireproof ones, if I remember correctly, I found them on Craigslist, and you went and picked them up with, the, with yes. your tow truck. Well, I sent the boys down well, with them, but you, yeah, mm -hmm. with the ramp truck, yeah. Okay, you got them here, um, and we paid. We got three for the price of one. Yeah, we did. Was. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, we well, just sometimes that don't, don't you go to that office supply store in Manchester? Yes, but he didn't have any. He didn't have yeah, any. yeah no. this was in Nashua, right? A sale of Nashua. They were in Nashua. 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 Okay. Um, the I've been checking periodically with the guy that I know in Manchester. They don't have any fire ones. Okay. Um, they have regular ones, but again, Ray said don't buy don't them. Don't buy the regular ones. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. If if you want to contact Ray about the regular ones, sure. I'll I'll look and see what's available for fireproof. Okay. And yeah, worst case scenario, we order one before the end of the month so that we right. can have it if we need it. Well, and I talked to, um, I think, uh, uh, Deputy Chief uh, McKinley mm -hmm. is going to take Ron's desk from upstairs and Fantastic. refurbish it downstairs to have him have a desk um, because Ron has a desk at the firehouse and he doesn't really sure. need a desk yep. over here as well. And um, so once we get that out of there, um, we could then... I think move the copier and then move the postage machine to that side of the wall. Oh, then we can put a copy where yeah. Because right. that, so that wall would support a couple. Right. Hmm. But we're gonna have to get CCS involved because we're gonna have to move the fax machine. We're gonna have to do you know stuff that requires a little bit of work. Right. In the meantime, the hallway is up against the stairwell. You sure. know that's supported. Right. We can put one there for now. And it's close to that room that we can start thinning those out a little bit so we yeah. can actually get stuff in. Yeah. I'll help with that too. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? <clears throat> Excuse me. Any other questions on planning and zoning? Do we still need six more maps? We're going to start working on this closet and setting or filing those There's, maps. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, Good. and even those big map ones that we did get yep. from Ray, yep. we're not utilizing them. So I told Brian that maybe, you know, when he finds some spare time um, after the holidays, I can, I can, we can start stuff. like trying to make those like, every south peak you know and make yeah. all the south peak go in there and then the landing and make all the landing right. and kind of organize our maps because right now we're just we have and so we many can, building permits coming right. in it's you know we're do just trying to developer. roll them up and move them around so we said do it by developer or, or development right. and then by street or right. area of town right yeah so you're saying we have we some, have some but not nearly enough not really yet. we definitely need okay so we yeah, just leave yeah, it yeah. leave it in the budget oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah another year or two we probably at, at least, least yeah yeah where are we, we where are we putting these um the, the ones that we don't we know we're not going to need to want that mm -hmm. we can't fit in here we'll put upstairs anything that we might need to look at we'll put here and where's here though right in this in this closet, right this closet right yep okay and then there's um some in your office and some in the hallway that are being used are right being now. used yeah, yeah. And we also were thinking potentially that little 
cove right there where the public access computer is. No one uses that. We don't that. need that anymore. We right? don't need that anymore. People go to the public library. All of our uh, tax cards are online. No one's coming right. in and printing off tax cards anymore. And if know? they needed one, we could print a form for them. And so even as they come in, we're right. thinking if we rip out the countertop in there, we could make a little bit more space and maybe line up some filing cabinets in there and lock the door and that yep. could be, you know, additional storage. Yeah, that's a good that's idea. That's true. I mean, it used to be the only way to get a tax card. Right. right. But, but nobody I mean, uses it. It anymore. probably gets used maybe half a dozen times a year where people are filling out a form for Kristen or something right. where they just find a seat and they sit down. But we could always tell them, come on in with the conference yeah. room, you know? Yeah. So, but that's also uh, an option. Good. Fantastic. Well, I think that's a great idea. Use the space we Use have. the space we have, yeah. you know, a Absolutely. little bit more, you know. Uh, all right, you good with planning and zoning? I am. Town hall. Speaking of town hall, what's a carpet coming? Um, any any right day it's here. Yeah. It's, 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 ordered, it's yeah. on order. Um, I think we're just waiting for delivery and then they're gonna install. Fantastic. So. Glad to hear it. All right, the video post circuit TV maintenance was was last year because it was the first year. Why is that? half of last year so i guess what i've been told is that this was a place holder for any maintenance that we would have to do to the security cameras um but we haven't had to do any maintenance to them we haven't had to do any maintenance okay. last year to knock on wood um so we cut that in half and just to have a little bit of a buffer if we were ever needed to if one of the cameras failed and we needed to replace it we know that's probably not going to be cheap um but it, it's not a maintenance agreement that we sign into okay. it's essentially just a um if something goes wrong with them gotcha perfect um, electricity, you're going to see we only bumped up to 2000, which is 10%, but we're doing really great in that line because this is one of the lines that Jonna bumped up the electricity a lot last year and yeah. it's a patient yeah. for the rates. Um, so right now in town hall, um, electricity, um, we're at 15,000 through the end of uh, November and we have 21 budgeted. So, so we'll be, we're going to walk by. Yeah, pretty for long weather this month. Yeah. No, no. Well, and, we do need snow, I yeah, if it's going to be cold, let us know. Right. Propane. Propane. We that's, just, I mean, that's mm, the new price. That's the new price. Let <laughs> me see. Everything else kind of remained relatively flat. I, and we're doing another ten thousand dollars for the AC and heating unit. So this is also something that I wanted to discuss with the board. Um, so I think we've gotten off cycle, or maybe we were confused onto what cycle we're doing with the AC units. So right now, only two AC units have been installed. Two out of the six back there. Mm -hmm. We have a third one that we have possession of but we don't have it installed yet. Mm -hmm. So technically, once that is installed, we'll have three new units out of the six. My question is, do we want to continue budgeting for the AC units with the current contractor that we have? His agreement with the town, it was a three-year agreement, ends in 23. And we're wondering if maybe we install the third one and wait to see if we go with a new mechanical. Um, what is your recommendation contractor? to go with a different mechanical contractor? Then that's what we'll do. Absolutely. Who, who does these? It's called um, Northeast Mechanical, Northwest Mechanical, North Point. Mechanical. <laughs> I think it's Northeast Mechanical. Out of Franconia? Correct. I would say there's we, value. There's value in both. I, there's value. He knows the system, right? He's been the one that's been working on it for the past three right. to six years or whatever that may be. Um, I will say that um, we've had issues where um, we are paying a lot for maintenance calls above and beyond um, our service contract um, that we've contacted another company to kind of 
give us a second opinion and the problem was solved in one visit and it cost us 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I have some yeah. concerns in that regard. And yeah, I've talked to Nate about it because I, I value Nate's opinion when it comes to this kind of stuff because it's more his forte than sure. it is mine. And he thinks that we should install the third and see what happens at the end of this contract. He says, as long as we're operating, which we are now, yeah. and everything seems to be working, they're just aging, they're not non-operational, that maybe we should revisit this in 24. I'm fine with that. Makes sense to me. So do you want to take that 10 out? Zero that out? I would like to keep it there just in case we want to purchase another and we still have to install the third that we have in the Oh, we need the installation in Good. there, yeah. This would be my thought. Yeah. It is take it out of there. Mm -hmm. Put it in the CIP. Because we know we're going to have to replace three more. Three more. Mm -hmm. If we choose not to do it in 2023, mm -hmm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. But we're still going to have to replace all three of those in the next I don't, years I don't disagree. This was an argument. This was an argument. I know. Yes, it, it is. is. It was an argument because it didn't it didn't fit the threshold or well if you look because at the, it should be look at the air conditioning and, system of this building it's 60,000 volts. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I told then, you then let's do this. Let's, let's talk about the committee wasted. that we don't know if we're going to have to do it next year but we're going to have to do three more in the next couple of years. Right. Do we want to budget zero this year and then well, we need this this we year. Need this to we need new that ten to install. Yeah. We need that ten to install in twenty three. Yeah, it's going to cost ten just to install it. It's going to cost more than ten just mm -hmm. to install. It. Oh, then we'll just leave it. Never mind. It's going to it cost us but, twelve to but install this. That's thing. a good thing to if we're not going to purchase another one next Correct. year. Mm -hmm. Let's remember to bring that to the CIP and start funding it. For 24. Correct. Yeah. I would like to it to be in the CIP as well. I think okay. it, it, it's a CIP expense. Okay. I think. Okay. Good. I mean, we, so we're going to. You know, I'm just looking at the CIP now as we're speaking, and we've got $20,000 in there to replace the maintain the HPA systems at, at the library. So right. why not do it for here? Too? I mean, it's even it's more great. money here than it is at the library. I mean, you know, as a member of the CIP, I definitely would support mm -hmm. that. Good. I mean, it, it, I feel like it, it is a capital project. Yeah, absolutely, it is. So next year, move to CIP, but leave this here for now to get the installation done. Yes, thank you. All right, anything else on that budget? I'm good. Nope. Cemeteries. Did this come from the trustee? This came from the trustee. Not from you. Not from me. I didn't touch it. That's I'm good job. with it. What would you say? I'm good with it. Although it's, oh, they say right there, down a thousand. Oh, five. Yeah, the lime and fertilizer was the big it was, yep. mm -hmm. jump. And then repairs, fuel costs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, the, right? fuel costs is higher. I mean, they're going to. Right. So I'm right. good with it. Yep. Yep. All right. Insurance this is based based upon what Primex quotes us at. What number is it? It's number nine. It doesn't. Mine doesn't have a number. Oh, it doesn't have the heading on top. Right? Yeah. yeah, that you got the right one, Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the right one. Just yeah. no, no, why there's no heading. But. All right. I mean, I don't think we're going to go anywhere other than Prime X in the next year. No, so I think I'm fine with that. And we also this year signed into the uh, cap agreement. Remember, we signed into the the maximum that they could give us. So, um, I uh, think, right, yeah, 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 right. yeah. Because I think last year we were at the nine percent increase, and this year we're at the seven. So, um, it is five thirty-five. Do we want to um, start with number ten next meeting? Or do you want to keep going? Well, th this is my thought. Let's let's stop the budget, mm -hmm. go to our regular meeting, and then see what, see what time, time it is. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going through a couple more. I wouldn't mind going through a couple more either because pretty much my town manager report consists of budget questions <laughs> that <laughs> I need answers on to kind of okay. finalize some of these things. I'm, so, I'm fine with that. Right. Absolutely. All right, so we have already called the meeting to order and work on the budget since 
Oh, 4 30. Um, getting to our regular agenda, the next uh, item is to review and approve the minutes from the previous meeting. Did anyone have any changes? I wasn't here, so I'm standing in. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, selectman's minutes as of November 28th as distributed. And I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I will abstain. I was on vacation with my grandkids, but non public as well. Yes, we did. There you are. I'll make a motion to approve the non public meetings as distributed. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, abstain. I almost said aye. <laughs> wow, it's crazy how it, you get into the habit. I know. <laughs> That's what it does. I won't sign them. All right. Um, go right into the town manager's report then. Sure. So before I get into some of the budgetary questions and stuff that just I want to get on your radar and talk to you, um, Jason Dennis, uh, the town attorney, did reach out to me today to reschedule the Janine Wood mediation. Yes. And they, we have a, a, a two dates uh, that um, he's suggesting that work for him. Uh, it would be January 19th in the morning or January 26th at any time. Either of those work for me. Yeah, when was the 26th? Uh, anytime in the on the 26th. Okay, 19th I'm fine with. Okay. The 26th would have to be after one o'clock. Okay. Yeah. What about the court? Is this with the mediator or is this with the mediator? And I mean, the mediator was notified from what I've been told the day before that she had a scheduling conflict. I mean, to me, you know, maybe we say to the mediator, we'd like a date final period, you know, let her make a schedule up, up beforehand. And, you know, our attorney and our staff is ready to go. See if we can push it a little bit. Yeah, the mediator's already been paid for. We've paid for four hours, and we've only, I, from what I've been told, um, have uh, been participating in two hours. So we have an additional two hours. Um, but yeah, I think um, one would hope that this would actually um, be the last shot. Be the last shot. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, What's that? Um, okay, so the police department was awarded a grant to replace all of the 13 body-worn cameras that they own. The cameras themselves have a, a five-year, um, we're calling it a warranty, but it's a five-year, if anything happens within that five-year period of time, um, it, they will you know, address whatever the issue is. And in year three, we get all brand new ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, the grant covers roughly a little bit less than 50% of the total cost to purchase the, uh, the cameras. Uh, the grant covers uh, 20K and change, and the total cost is uh, 46. So we'd have to eat about six grand or so. Um, Chief Morris believes that he can um, find the town share with the remaining funds in his 2022 budget. Um, Although we would like the board's approval um, before doing so, he was down two officers for the better uh, majority of this year. So his payroll wages are um, relatively low um, and he feels that he can absorb the town share um, in his 2022 budget. The other option would be to go to town meeting in 23 and raise the town share of the funds um, if we wanted to do it that way. What I didn't understand is, okay, 13 body-worn cameras. Mm -hmm. What cameras have a five-year warranty? The current 13 or the th 13 new ones? The 13 new ones. So anything that happens in that five-year period of time, we'll get brand new ones in year three, but anything that happens to those cameras that, in the five, they give it a five-year life, you know, in that five-year lifespan. So there's brand new ones purchased in year three. Brand new ones purchased this year, and then brand new ones purchased in year three, three and, and they'll cover so them in year two, five. And they'll oh, cover okay. them if, yeah. if, yeah. if something happens. If something happens. And, and then they're just ours. The first three years. And then they're just ours. And we are. Right. 
I would say do it now. Absolutely. Just one quick question. Sure. Though. Looking at his his budget, um, he's substantially over what forty something thousand in contracted services. Um, no. 40... Um, police. Well, in recommended. I mean, what's he expended there? In contract that's 102 out of 135. Yeah, he spent 102 out of 130. Oh, he only spent 102. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All, right. All right. He's got 32 left in that contract. So, yeah. All right. Then I brought that. Same. I just figured why if why budget for it next year if we can absorb it in 22. Yep. Okay. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And get yep. brand new cameras for 50% of the no, cost. Absolutely. In this instance, I absolutely agree. Okay. So I will tell him to move forward with that. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Uh once again, the PD, they were also awarded a COPS grant, which is a Community Oriented Policing Services grant, and it would be to hire a school resource officer. Uh, the grant covers payroll and personal administration, health, dental, retirement uh, costs for over three years, for three years with a 75% reimbursement the first year, a 50% reimbursement the second year, 25 the third, and then the fourth year, we would have to pay the full amount. We are required to have a fourth year um, per the grant. Um, Chief Morris has discussed a potential SRO position with the school board, and um, I guess Tammy could probably speak more to this, but they have uh, voted uh, that they are in favor of adding an SRO position and entering into a MOU with the town for some sort of cost funding formula. Um, we would just like to hear the board's thoughts on the potential addition of an SRO and um, cost sharing with the school, I guess. I have a couple of questions. Go ahead. I mean, number one, I think it's a great idea to have an officer present. Um, I think it builds community support, uh, makes the, not only the young kids, but the high school kids, you know, aware of what the police do, who they are. I, I think it's a real positive step. Um, one question that I would have would be, is it going to come from an existing officer or would it be a special officer assigned you know, outside because remember we don't have school in June, July, or July, August, September, or there about three months. Um, so consequently, you know, would that officer go to regular officer and correct? So how we because we are a um, union shop, we have to uh, any new position has to be offered internally first. So it would be offered internally, and if uh, the chief didn't find that any of our current employees could fit that position, then he could offer it externally, but 100% that employee would be a town employee. So he, he or she would spend 180 days at the school while the school's open and 185 days with the town um, for the remaining uh, portion of the year. So in July, when there's no school, in August, when there's no school, they school will be vacations, school exactly. vacations, which February. coincidentally mm -hmm. is when a lot of our current police officers like to take vacations. Mm -hmm. So that would be a huge relief on vacation coverages, et cetera, um, in the summer when people right. want to go on vacation. Right. And it, it most likely, you know, the town would absorb all their vacation time because they wouldn't necessarily take a week's vacation while school is in session, you know, so we would be absorbing yeah. the majority of that. But they would work. But they, they would, would work as a just, town of right. Lincoln police officer right. if, when they're not in the school. When the school is open, they are at the school. And there's no taking that officer out of the school to do a detail on Route 112. Uh, other than uh, an extreme emergency, and other than yes, so catastrophic, yeah. God forbid, a plane crash somewhere, right. we're well, we're going to go help. Right. And the MOU that the school board is talking about is it a 50 50 split, or are you going to pay 80 percent? We'll pay 20. The MOU, <laughs> we the, the school board has directed the superintendent to negotiate the MOU sure. with the chief downstairs. And the understanding, although it hasn't been drafted yet, that, that I'm aware of is that the school will pay for the hours that the officers at the school. And then the town of Lincoln will pay for everything else. Um, and it's also going to leave it flexible so that if there's a school dance on Friday night, the officer can Attempt. leave early on Tuesday and go to the dance on Friday or whatever, so that they've got a balance of hours. 
how, how the chief and I have, um, obviously we are just kind of brainstorming on how to break it down, but when you look at it, it there's 365 days a year, right? Mm -hmm. The school's in session 180 of that, that's 50% of the year. Right. Yeah, but we yeah. don't count the seven days. I mean, the weekends and, you know, vacations right. and things like that. So when you break down the 180 right. days, it's not 180 days. No, no. it's but, 52 weeks. Yeah. And, and you but, know, the school gets I a think little it, less than half of that. I think right. it's a great idea. I mean, I, I think I a lot it. of the schools have used it uh, and I think used it successfully around the country. Um, when we had the the um, SRO years ago, Will in particular, mm -hmm. um, Jose was fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. He was great, and 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 uh, Will was awesome. And I personally, because my kids in school at the time, and I was I lived there pretty much, um, and personally saw the um, the difference was made, mm -hmm. um, not just with kids and students, but some of the staff as well. Sure, um, it, it's it's. I can't say enough about having an SRO in school. Oh, and, and, you know, not only do they educate the students, they can nip problems in the bud. I mean, that's the big thing with drugs today and what have you, you know, yeah. the right mentor there, you know, playing basketball with the kids or interacting with the kids. I mean, all of those things. Well, I think it's the positive experience. I agree. I think policing is not just the negative side of, you know, right. the things. It's not just arresting people right. and doing all that stuff. It's also about community engagement and showing a different side of, you know, what the police yes. world is like and it's and you know, for some it's a feeling of safety correct you no know? especially like, in today's world where you know yes. the number one killer of kids right now is school shootings yeah you know, it's crazy and um, i mean you know some of these offices and again i don't know previously with you know they start the explorer club so things like that where kids really actively get involved in mm -hmm. police cadet work and things like that so i think it's fun yeah. yeah okay i would i would suggest that if we are going to move forward with it that maybe we Put it on as its own warrant article at town meeting and let the town vote on it because the school is going to have to vote on it as well right mm -hmm. um but that's something that we can could be decided at a later date you know depending on well, let's how the get, police budget looks like. i want to see that and i want to you know once the mou is drafted and, sure. and executed between right um the, the superintendent and because it's already been awarded a grant it but definitely has to because we're going to have to um gross expense of funds yeah you got it, it. it's okay and gross, and gross appropriate the funds. Right. We have to do it like a like a teacher's, I mean, a union contract. Right. For the three years. For the three years. Three years. Right. right. Because Correct. we're we're agreeing right now to spend money in three future years. Four. Four years. Four years. Four years. Three. Three. 23 and then yeah. three future years. It has to be. Okay. We'll only raise and appropriate what we need for 23, but it has to be outlined that, yeah. yes, in 24, this is going to be the cost. In 25, this yeah. is going to yeah. be the cost. In 26. Right. And then in right. those future years, right. assuming it gets voted in, it just goes into the regular budget. Right. Correct. So it still gets appropriated, right. but we don't have to vote. On it's not its own individual warrant. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you'll no. work it out with the chief and the yeah, I, like I said, we wanted to get the, the, the boards, you know, gauge, you know, we wanted to, you know, kind of see where your temperature was on it. And, um, you know, if, if you were adamantly against it, I think we would reconsider, you know, moving how we were going to move forward. But um, if the board's in favor, then, yeah, we'll start crunching some numbers and seeing where things lie up. We did do some initial cost estimates. The grant will only cover um, an entry level SRO. They're not going to allow us to hire a 10 year veteran or they, you know, cut, I mean, we could, but we would have to absorb the additional extra cost. The extra cost. So we said an employee making roughly $50,000 a year is kind of an entry level position plus Medicare, retirement, health and dental, all that good stuff. Um, would cost the town if if we were, we did 50, 50 just for easy math, obviously it could sure. be 40, 60 sure. or whatever it ends up being, um, would, would cost the town um, in the first year, like 18 grand. To have a SRO, which is uh, money well spent. Yep. Absolutely, no question. And I know the details haven't been worked out, mm -hmm. but but typically the school day isn't eight hours. No, we all know that. Oh. As a mom, I know that. <laughs> Six so, hours or right, so. Seven. So yeah, that would well. I mean, if they're there in the morning for traffic duty, they well, that's what there. we were thinking. We'd they'd have show to be up there at right. seven fifteen. Right. But then if they're going to be there when all the kids are leaving, they're not going to leave until. Three o'clock. Right. So you've got an extra fifteen minutes, and yeah, we're also any like, school seven hours and forty-five minutes. Yeah, it's yeah, a basketball game. Or something. Exactly. Yeah, right. It, it technically is yep. an eight. It's only a seven-hour day for the kids. It's an eight-hour day for, for the, the staff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, we figured if we needed to make up an hour on either end or whatnot, like Tammy said, they could right. do the traffic duty leaving or coming in or yep. go to a basketball game yep. or the school dance or maybe the PTA meeting or whatever, you know, it was necessary. And and that's what they used to do too. And, and it was, they quickly and pretty easily figured out their schedule and how yeah. they could do things and yeah. Yeah, no, I, I used to work with the after school program back when Jose was the SRO. Oh, he's fantastic. And he was he was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And 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 part of that was was kind of what you said, like just the mentoring mm -hmm. and and you know um building a relationship with kids who then it became easier for them to talk to him about absolutely issues that yeah. that, that came up. Mm -hmm. Um I know I think it's it's a great idea. I think that if the school is willing to participate in it. I mean, we benefit greatly, mm -hmm. um, not only for what they do there, but then for their availability here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Again, during our busy time. Mm -hmm. And when, when our other staff members might be taking vacations, sure. yep. to fill in. No, I think it's, I think it's. A I love it. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll look into that a little bit thank more. Thank you, Chad. For, thank Chad for us. I will. Definitely. Doing all this. This is great. Um. Okay, this is more just a to make it sure that it's on everybody's radar that I don't forget that we're, no one else forgets. We do have a couple kind of outstanding uh, potential Warren articles uh, to keep on the brain. Uh, one is Riverfront Park. We will hope that we'll have a cost estimate from Ray by early January for potential remediation. So that could be a potential special Warren article. New Police and Fire, um, LaValle Brenzinger is coming in on the 19th to give their presentation. So we should have cost figures for that building um, at that time. So we could decide whether we're going to add money Go to a warrant article yeah. or, or, or do something along those lines. I keep looking for more grants too. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah. I know we're getting kind of a lull right now, I think until 2023 until we get through the new year. And then um, I think February, spring is when a lot of new ones come popping yeah, up. It's, yeah, it's... I hope so, because I hope so too. a okay. fraction of the ones that we had before, yeah. And then also, um, West, uh, Sam Kenny from Weston Sampson uh, talked to Nate uh, at the end of last week, middle of last week, and he's um, going to have a proposal for Route 3 for us in the next week here, so so we should see that as well. Um, what Do you know, what, what are the dates for um, hearings for bonds, if we have to have them? Are they, like, 1st of February, is that right? I have it. Right Beginning here. of February. Yeah. Yeah. I think I put that important dates calendar in. Um, I'm pretty sure that's obviously, even if we use some water out of CIP, we're going to need to bond something. Yeah. So well, it's um, not terrible I, because we've paid off. I was going to say, if you looked at the bond, I know, it's, we're in good shape as far as we're in good shape. Goes, and yeah. we also, so uh, uh, Donna and I this week are, um, no, on Friday. Yeah, it was on Friday. We met with um, Moody's Investment Company. They um, pulled um, one of our bonds, one of the bonds we extinguished last year and then the bond we're uh, getting rid of next year. And we, our credit rating has increased. Um, so we are in a good financial state. Uh, um, they had talked about potential additional bonding through them. Um, uh, interest rates are not what we currently have our loans at. Um, Tell me about it. Interest rates are gonna be seven, eight, nine percent. Right. Um, even for municipal, really, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess a, a neighboring town uh, got quoted on a half a million dollar bond of seven point eight percent interest rate. It's it's what it is. Right. I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, but so we got to start thinking about things, and this is going to actually lead me to my next conversation, which isn't included on the report, but. Um, we on our CIP schedule have the, the uh, replacement of engine two uh, for the fire department in 2025. Um, they are saying that it's a two year build mm -hmm. at this point. Um, so if we don't initiate the process in the next year, we are going to not have a fire truck until 26, 27. And um, the chiefs don't feel confident that that truck is going to last till 26 or 27, um, not without some significant um, work to be done. And I think there's some work done that cannot, um, even something has expired or the mm -hmm. shelf life of the last, something. Is that the primary truck? Is that the first response truck? Um, I don't know that question to be honest. I, I want to say yes, but I don't want to yeah. lie to you. That's um, the pumper. I'm um wait, that's E2. 
Wait, that needs to be replaced? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's... Uh... Um, so, Ryan, um, you know, under... That's a 2001? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, the last couple of trucks... Oh, this one can't be used, though, because you've only got... You're only supposed to have those for, like, 12 years. Yeah, they that's only a... go... They only certify them for... for 12 years. So, and, you ha you're, and your first due truck has to be less than, I think, 12 years. It has yes. to. Yeah. That's, so, we but, have but to that's get a e new one. Well, that's E1, then, right? It's we're replacing no e e one was a used e two we're replacing two thousand one I'll tell you right now what we're replacing e two number forty six e two is what we're replacing yeah. but I want to know one of those either e one or e two has to be less than twelve years old in order to be so for us to stay with our fire rating as right. the primary vehicle right our first first vehicle not primary right. but first response vehicle so um. Ryan and Ron, I guess they have a uh, truck committee on the fire department where they've started looking at trucks and they've gotten uh, three quotes for fire trucks. Okay. Uh, they range, the quotes range from 701 to 902. Okay. Um, which is a lot of money. <laughs> so um, we've asked their number one pick, the fire department's number one pick is a DeSorcy Emergency Projects. It's another E1. Their uh, today's price comes in at seven nineteen. They've given us a price for next year that ranges from seven sixty two to seven eighty six. Um, we've asked them to put together kind of like a proposal or a package of what a stereotypical down payment and three year lease option agreement would be, like a three year lease payment option. We haven't received those yet. Um, he got back to us on Friday and said we should have them by this week. So I'm just bringing this to the board because um, I think if it's going to be a two-year build and we're committed to buying a new vehicle, then we probably should put a down payment at some point in time next year to get the ball rolling on Absolutely. things. Um, right now in the capital reserve account, we at the, in 2023, we'll have 314,000. So that's well, that's enough to get us started. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to see what like a lease payment option would be or what the interest rates would be on that as well. So another potential bond item but we'll have to wait and see where those um those numbers well, are and what our options are we could put almost 50 percent down and bond 300 or 400 thousand right. i mean that to me yeah that's, that's what we help. were thinking you know you know why pay interest you know but pay the pay right. the principal down as much as we can well, well we're also 14, thinking that we could pay the 314 down next year and maybe in 2024 take out the bond where interest interest rates might be slightly lower at, at that time but we're not going to get it till 25 Five, correct and by that time we'll have another maybe 200 000 right or we could CIP. just put another hundred thousand dollars in for the next three years yeah. Yeah. CIP. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, i would i would well next, next year i'm looking at that next year we recommended in 2023 that a hundred thousand do more that right now that's, this, no that's this that's year. taking us to the three that's, that's, that's this, taking us to this next year 2023 yeah. right but then the next two years, we they have to get 150 a piece. Would have to be yeah. right or uh, yeah. roughly yeah. over 100, 100. Right. Yeah. Over 100, 100, 100 right. right to bring up the other half. But we're scared that these prices are only going to right, be. right. So if that's we, a if concern. We yeah, contract it now. Mm -hmm. We'll lock into a price. We will. Yes. Yeah, because they told us they told us 2022's 20, price for the E1 is 719. 2023's price is going to be 762 to 786. And and when do we have to we have to make that decision by the end of 2022, which in other words, in the next three weeks? Um yeah. I, I think you do if you uh, yes and no. If we're gonna if you're gonna wanna raise money, which I don't think we need to raise money next year for. Um, I think it would just be nice to know what we're up against when it comes to interest rates and what our least purchase options are, because I think we're also committing that the CIP committee is going to say yes to the $150,000 if we go down that route. Um, so if we do enter into a contracting, put a down payment and whatnot, yes. and then the voters come at us and say, no, absolutely not. Do we have an out? We would need a non-appropriation clause in okay. the... Perfect. It, we would need a non-appropriation clause in the contract with E1 that says... If for any reason yeah. the town votes this down, we stop where we are. Where are we with the other two potential new hotels that are going up in town? Um, 
Not very far along. So um, the I can't. I don't know if it's the fair. This is the this is the, the Hampton. Inn. That's a Hampton Inn. That's coming well along. Right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. coming well along. Yeah. Well, right. well, the the, fair the Fairfield. The Fairfield has yet to submit a building permit. They had some changes that they were making to the aesthetics and and whatnot of the building. So that building permit has yet to been uh, submitted, but we have been told that it is still coming. That it's not the project isn't dead. That they were just doing some, you know. Well, I think part of that is that they're changing the the flag on that. Mm -hmm. like they came to the planning board and talked about it being a fear field. You know? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's now I think it's home to sweet home sweets, yeah. Yeah. Oh that okay. That so it's sense. a different franchise yeah. or, or whatnot. And then the um the third hotel, which is still in conceptual conceptual, right, right next is door. right next door. Yeah. They are they haven't gone through site plan appro approval. Oh I gotta let that mention them. They haven't gone through site plan approval or anything like that. They're still in the conceptual phases of things and um I know that there have some issues with the space, the size of the lot, and getting the required parking and covered space. So um, that could be um, a little bit longer coming. Well, no, the reason why I ask, obviously, I mean, you know, going back to impact fees, I mean, we can always put that in there that we need a new fire truck that's good, and you're having an impact on our delivery of fire services. Um, that's something, believe. I know for a fact that Dennis Duchamp was fully expecting to pay two hundred plus thousand dollars to pay for a new fire towards a new fire truck because he had the highest building in town, four stories, and he said if I would talk about it, then nobody ever came. The town manager, not you, mm -hmm. the, the town manager at the time, didn't come to me and say we want the money. And he said, Jack, I honestly had it in my budget. So, so again, let's think about it. Yeah. As we it's, move down the road. it's actually something that needs to be imposed at the planning board side of things yeah, at the yeah. planning board during the yeah. approval process, which I don't disagree. I mean, I think we're losing out on um, potential funds that could help us purchase some of these things um, without the impact fee. So, I mean, we got Riverwalk, you know, even Riverwalk. Riverwalk's not on board yet, but when that comes on board, I mean, that that's a, not a small building. Another <laughs> 60 something units. Right. So um, again, this was more to like make sure it's on your radar. Yeah. I think we need to have more discussions on it. I want to wait and see what Ryan gets back from DeSorcy and E1 about what a typical down payment I looks like. I do want like. to sure, and, though, if we can get it for $60,000 less by pulling the trigger sure. in three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, let's I, do that. Yeah. Okay. We have $200,000 sitting there for this exact purpose. Right. I'm right. fine with And we with know we need it. Saving. Right. Getting on board. $60,000. Yeah. Giving that money to them now. What are yeah. we earning on it? Nothing. We're not going to earn sixty thousand dollars in the next year on that, right, no. that amount of money. So okay, let's 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 do that. Yeah. And, um, okay. Absolutely. I'll hopefully have an update for you um, next week for that. Okay. All right. Thank you. No Thank worries. You. And then the only mm -hmm. the last thing I have is um, town Christmas did, party. Did, did, before we go into yeah. that special one, I just wanted to say, you know, we may have three things on on the warrant. For, for bonding, mm -hmm. at least we're, we're talking about it. One is the Route 3 water main, um, which we really need to get that. You said you'll come in this week. You know? I, I'm thinking, he said last week that they were finalizing things. Okay, so. so so we can talk about that at our next meeting. Hopefully, yes. Um, the police fire facility, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be ready by the budget season to know what that's going to cost, but we should be budgeting something towards the, the continuation of that process for sure. Um, if they come in, or if we have a, a, a budgeted amount, we can discuss sure. putting that on. Mm -hmm. the, the Riverfront Park, um, again, we're gonna wait and get what that remediation cost is, but you know, it'd be nice if it was not even something we needed to bond, but, a, but it might be. But we have to wait until that decision. Right. In the meantime, we paid off a note this year related to the water treatment plant. And then we're gonna pay off two bonds. We have one more payment on in 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that'll be paid off. So even if we bonded something in March, I mean, we're not gonna have 
have it ready to, to actually follow right. the funds before those two are paid off. Okay. Combined, that's just over three and a half million dollars of original notes mm -hmm. that we're going to either have extinguished or will extinguish. Mm -hmm. um, How much in by payments? The, by the time, was that? How much in payments in a year? All three of them equaled how much a year, roughly? Um, Round numbers. Like 150. Yeah. 150, I don't know what the other, the, the one that we paid off isn't on here, so I don't know what oh, that gotcha. used to be. We're supposed to 200,000. Yeah, that's my, 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 my recollection is 150 or something yeah. along Well, it's 160 yeah. just in principle on the two, um, plus the interest. So 200, okay. 100, well, one hundred and call it one hundred and seventy, and then whatever that whatever. that so previous bond. So it's going to be over, over two hundred thousand of payments that we won't have anymore. That right. To be honest, yeah. if we're going to borrow, even though now the interest rates right. aren't in our favor, now's the time to borrow to flatten or to you know to try to keep a a, a flat um, budget. Yeah. Budget. And if we go with a lending institution and not the bond bank mm -hmm. you can refinance when the rates go down yes. well exactly yeah. yeah well that's that's right that's key so that's key. right now exactly. the rising interest right. you can't with the bond bank. bank no and i the bond I mean, bank, and the rate. bond bank is sometimes they're extremely competitive and sometimes they're not but the, yeah. what they lock you into is um like you said there's no flexibility nothing. there's no refinancing there's no, refinance. there's there's no, no paying early. early there's nothing right. yeah nothing we had some good um, competitive rates last time mm -hmm. we the private banks. Yeah. They beat the bond bank by far. Yeah. And again, they are always. Right. But, but the flexibility yeah. is something that. It's going to be an extremely low rate if it's we go with the bond bank. Agreed. It's going to really be. Yeah. So. All right, now we're talking about Christmas parties. Yay. Christmas party, uh, town Christmas party uh, will be held uh, Friday, December 16th at 6 p.m. at the Mountain Club. Perfect. Yes. Uh, notices will go in employees' uh, pay checks this week. And um, I think Jane was pre preparing to do an email blast to all the elected officials and the boards and committees. Well, that's usually yeah. Got it. And I talked a little bit about, you know, years ago we did the employee recognition and had decided to do that every couple of years. And then COVID hit and we haven't done it. So we're going to look into, even if we don't have pins or anything like that, just to, yeah. Tammy gave me a list just of just a shout out. I, I gave her the whole list. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Well, years and dates and anniversaries. Um, so yeah, I think at least a recognition, um, yeah. you know, yeah. Uh, for all our tenured employees or our yeah. you know, longer employees. Exactly. And maybe and Kim even suggested some of the, the new ones too. Yeah. 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 And same thing with committee members too. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's yeah. some long serving committee members and there's some new ones. So. Right. Yeah. Um, OJ will say speech. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's truly all I have for this evening. Awesome. The other thing I had, I just want to shout out to Ryan Fairbrother um, for making that list of out street lights. I've noticed that several several of those have already been fixed, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Thank you, Ryan. For, thank Ryan for doing that. I definitely will. Um, he, and him and you know him and his lovely bride took a ride on a Friday night date around town. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> yes, what a date. <laughs> You no, know, and it's, and, I mean, a lot of people noticing because it gets darker so much earlier. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. on a lot of people's radar. And yeah. Well, let's nip them all in the bud, right? Let's stop piecemeal them together. Here's our list of yep. a yeah. dozen or so. Yep. And, and yeah. we've already got a call from the co op. Like you said, they just wanted to confirm that we were okay with the service. And we said, absolutely. They got to get yeah. done, right? Yeah. So, um, yep. No, I've noticed a few of them. And it, it's funny because you'll, they're replacing the ones that need replacing with LEDs. Yeah, that's so you'll that see like yeah. three or four of the pink ones and then one bright one nice blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. That's all I had. All right. Um, you know, I had a couple of things, but um, one is an update on the Chenard case. Um, which would be non-public. Yeah. And then um, two employee related. discussion related things I wanted. So all three of those would be in, in non-public. Okay. So I didn't have any 
questions or anything out oh. in public? Did you have anything? Yeah, I just want to commend the chairman on his uh, response to the PRELAC, uh, Pemi River Local Advisory okay. Committee. I thought he did a great job there, um, giving them a history and where we're at with it. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's interesting to see what's going on there. Yeah, thank People you. have taken major control of the watershed and, you know, um, they're going to look at South Peak, it sounds like, too. Um, we'll see. Well, they, the, the Henry River Local Advisory Committee, which I've been going to the meetings either by Zoom or not, um, have, um, have jurisdiction over this section of the river, whether we're a member or not, right? And you know, my thought is I'd rather be there for the discussion than than yeah, be told that your voice yes, yes. Right. voice be heard. Second, their jurisdiction is only um, advisory. Right. Yeah, you know, they they have no authority to do anything other than comment as an official body on um, development along either the PEMI or the East mm -hmm. Branch. Mm -hmm. um, so so I rather be there. What they're doing, the process we're in right now is updating the um, Pemi River Management Plan, which is supposed to do every 10 years. And I think it's 12 years, uh, 11 years. It's just beyond the 10 year mark right now. Oh, yeah. So in updating it, they're, they're really compiling um, a list of resources. So what I added for the Lincoln input was um, their, their river has different or their, their scope or whatever has different um, categories. In the, in the water resources um, category, I added the um, USGS gauging station up here mm -hmm. okay. as, as a way to measure sure. river flow that was sure. not mentioned before. And then the other thing under the recreation um, section, I added the um, old hole, mm -hmm. updating them on access to that and on Ladies Valley, Ladies Valley. Uh, that we've yes. restricted that to taxpayers um, mm -hmm. and residents of Lincoln and Woodstock and kind of went into the, again, I try to do it as briefly as you can, you know, you know so, but but that it's basically in the middle of a private condominium development. Yeah. So that was just what, what Jack was talking about. Great. But um, I also think too, in Judy's text, she had indicated that like they had only had, we'll say 30, um, users and, and when they updated they found there were like 62 or something like yeah. that or maybe it was even less I think no, it was 62. They, 62 yeah and, and there were only 13 or before yeah, or yeah, 18, something like that yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about 62 now and, and yeah so if you look at yeah. it from raw data it's like oh my god yeah. yeah to put that into perspective if you look at the list okay which I did not do okay yeah. which I did you did not and I did Go through and, and, and yeah. you tell me what 17 existed 10 years ago and, and the other ones didn't. It's okay. not a matter of more. There are more, mm -hmm. but there's more compliance. Say, there's more reporting. Oh, mm -hmm. gotcha. So some of these people who were using water also were this, were, this weren't, weren't originally out. Weren't originally. Should just, have been in water. Could have been listed gotcha. a decade ago. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, that makes sense. So, so just just to take that with a grain of salt, we have not, you know, haven't expanded that much. No, there were more than 17 water users 11 years yeah. ago. <laughs> they just weren't registered. And that might include the town of Lincoln. We have, we're a registered water user for the withdrawal mm -hmm. for our water treatment plant and for the um, wastewater transport okay. plant. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and I, the can't you know, correct. Cake wreck, yep. the snow oh, making, yeah. Blue Mountain, mm -hmm. the snow making. Yep. Like, was the cake wreck listed, registered? Probably not. We didn't take right out of the river. That's yeah. treated water. Um, it's, I it, think it fits into agricultural. Because of the and, belt. Yeah. And other, yeah. 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 you know, yeah. agricultural like, but we're spraying it on the ground. Gotcha. We're not, we're not yeah. 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 We're drinking it. Okay. Um, that makes sense. And the loon is the same, same thing. Anyway, I just, Right. Yeah, it's just interesting. But, but it is interesting. Right. And it's worth what does it cost us? $250? Not even. I think it's 300 Yeah, I think it's 300 that we pay for it. 300 bucks. Right. Yeah. And and it just gives us the conversation. The voice voice yeah. conversation. Absolutely. Where I'm going with this though, you're doing such a great job, Timmy and I just thought we're making permanent Okay, it's right. I don't know. I'm not doing it. And it's nice that we can do it. I can do it by doing a great job. Yeah. 
you know, this I appreciate the, you. Yeah. Two, yeah. two times I was down in it was convenient. Plymouth yeah. or South yeah. anyway yeah. on a Tuesday. Yeah. So I just yeah. do it on the way home. Um, this this week I was not. Did it by Zoom and that's even better. Um, before we move on from the water, it just reminded me, I just want to give some kudos to uh, Dave Bowden and Nate Hadaway. With the amount of rain that we have had over the last few weeks, our river is high and brown, and they've been working really hard. Um, I know it's been slightly a challenge for them to, you know, mm -hmm. keep up and make sure, you know, the chemicals and everything we need is balancing and checking. And so I just want to give them, a, you know, a little kudos for Absolutely. working overtime on that. So. Because the river is high. We've got a great group of employees, absolutely. What's in the anything? green folder? Anything? Oh, yes. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Tree cutting by the electric oh. co op. <laughs> oh, geez. Don't say that. What it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. The co op owns and has real estate rights to numerous right of ways, and they're going to be clearing some trees in those right of ways. Trees are the number one cause of outages for NHEC. I'm not going to read the whole letter. But basically, they're going to be reclaring in, in our area. If there's any questions, we can call their member solutions. Um, and on the back, they show you how far they'll cut from the trees and what have you. That's we'll right. One at home. That's right. And as we learned from the last time they did this, that if they're clearing on a uh, within their right of way, but on private property, and the property owner comes and says, can you just cut down the whole tree instead of half of it? And they do. The property owner has the right to ask that, and people in town have no right to come and tell us that we should interfere with a, 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 the property rights of a property, property, property owner in this town. And I'm saying that because it bothered me to no end the last time that that happened, especially when they talked about bringing out a firearm to protect a tree that was not on their property. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, that's my little revenge. <laughs> I'll calm down. Yeah, no, that's not good. No. Um, if there's nothing else, then I'm going to make a motion to go into. Are we going to do more budget? Oh, we are. Do you want to do that now? Do public I would do first. that before non-public. Yeah. Because then after non-public, we could just adjourn and be done with it. People don't have to wait for us to go to non-public. But right. I need two minutes before Can we, we do the public that. session now. We'll do, we'll we'll do budget. Yeah. You're in public. No, but I mean, oh, oh, the public, public comment. The public comment. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry. I mean, we're good. Two people, people here. here. Good catch. Good catch. Do you have anything that you would like to? I found this immensely informing. Just sitting here and listening, really for two reasons. One, as you review each of your line items in the budget, you are also updating the status of the town that we all live in. Very, very informative. You know, and um, I, I just think the second thing that's been a tremendous value to me is the terminology, understanding what you call things and what they are and so forth. I thank you for just letting me sit here. I guess I'm your Public, you know, Wayne, all these documents are public records. So if you'd like to peruse them at home, please feel free to ask at the front desk. The staff is more than happy to help you. Oh, I love the annual report book every year. Absolutely. And I go through it line item by line item. I find it fascinating. I try to get as much information as I can from it. Excellent job. I think the town owes all of you a debt of gratitude for the time that you spend uh, supporting this town. Uh, most people live here and they just don't realize how much is involved in the town. Thank, well, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for coming. Yes, and thanks for joining our community. You can come and talk nice about us anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you before you get to the non-public piece here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, fellas, is there anything you so wanted to address the board with? And I've enjoyed meeting all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. I don't think he heard you. Al, did you have anything tonight? Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Thank I'm you. I'm going to use ladies and right and back. Yeah, we'll stay in sure. public, but right. put in the budget. Right. Okay. Right.
I missed a call from Tim or him. <laughs> she was looking for you can just ignore that one. He was telling me he was buying and selling golf courses out of Florida. Oh. Yeah, he said he came in and he had, um, you know, was interested. He had saw the older notice that there was a vacancy on the budget committee, and he asked if it was still a vacancy. And I said I wasn't one hundred percent sure. I know they appointed one of the two vacancies, um, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure on the second one. Um, he was very nice and said, you know, he's yeah. got a financial background, and you know, yeah. he's just interested and wants he's to learn more. Down and down the blood, or he, he, what? Your trustee down there. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So I said, great, you'll be an asset. You yeah. know, your background. Yes, it was very nice. Yeah, uh, gentlemen. Was Sydney excited about Santa and Christmas? Very much so. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> it's a great day. Yeah. My, it does make it a lot more fun. Oh, it does. My grandson's mm -hmm. nine and he's still there. Yeah. They're still put down on the shelf. Oh, yeah. And, it's a binky they call him. so binky went out there for a couple of days and uh, you know yeah so yeah no my nephew's 10 and he's like saying right on the verge i yeah. think he knows but he still like wants to participate a little bit so yeah. i made a cup of coffee before we started oh and i just remember it right now it's gonna be iced coffee now <laughs> Entertainment for the Christmas party, like live entertainment. We've had various things in the past. I don't. I don't believe so. My comment is not would be that that to me, the best ones have been the the, the gatherings where we're not ending dinner and rushing into a comedian or uh, loud music and no one can talk hypnotist you know, hypnotist no one can talk no, we haven't we actually i we talked a little bit i say we me and jane about you know the the library had um a wonderful lady who's in the hampshire historian story yeah she's Story been, teller. yeah mm -hmm. oh, and the phone call was made and she wasn't available so we just okay but that would have been fantastic uh, i would go for something like that yeah. because it's Again, more of a conversation yeah. mm -hmm. than a conversation yeah. blocker. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have anything scheduled. Okay. Just the swap. Yeah. Just the swap. Which is yeah. fine. Yeah. Right. Which we, we've done that every year. Yeah. It's a hundred dollar limit. <laughs> you have, you get, Did you get my name? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if people want to hang around, there's probably music out in the lounge anyway. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure the Mount Club is going to, you know, yeah. it's a Friday night in December. Yeah. 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 I, I just think that. The entertainment no, has been good, but has been interfering with. Yeah, I agree. You know, sure. you just sit there and you, you can't scream You're over screaming at people. You know, yeah. the, like the comedian or the hypnotist, you right. can't even scream over them. Because and that's, I prefer that's the um, the swap than the then they drew the tickets and gave gift cards a couple of years. I'm like, yeah. I like the swap. No, I think time. swap's fun. Yeah. I, I agree. Gets everyone involved yep. and out of their seat, and yeah. There could be some interesting gifts. I'm sure there are. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story about that. That is wicked embarrassing, but, but well, you're being recorded. I would wait for him. That's what I'm saying. Okay. He's gonna... <laughs> I'll tell you wait, no, like, tell us individually. No. <laughs> it was from way back. Well, my ice coffee. Um, All right, budget. We're on the police. We're on the police. I would suggest skipping over the police stuff because contract. there's a lot of, yeah, yeah there could be a lot of uncertainty. We should know better tomorrow. We have our second negotiation yeah. session tomorrow. Oh, I can okay. update you a little bit in non-public like that. that one, just like the, um, um, so, the so hopefully by our next meeting, I will have definitive numbers so we can actually look at it with true numbers. Perfect. It's kind of like the personnel one. It's a big one. It's one of our bigger ones. And yeah, there's a lot of, you know, could be a lot of variation. All right, so we'll start with the fire department. Um, you'll see we just did the 6% for the COLA um, mm -hmm. for the on-call firefighters. Um, you see that the chief's wages are, are drastically reduced and that's because he went to the stipend versus the full-time full -time, employee. Right. right. And then uh, deputy chief, that is his new current rate, it looks like a big jump, but he, um, when when Ron um, 
step down from the full-time code enforcement side of things or that side of things. There we, was an increase. There was an increase yeah. to Ryan to take on more responsibilities. And that's also when he took on all the permitting. So. Did we change something with the telephone? Yes. So we partly due to um, Ryan taking on more of an administrative role with the building permit and the code enforcement side of things, we upgraded. They were using dial-up internet over there. Um, so we, <laughs> um, so we had still off of that. They, they uh, I couldn't believe it either. DSL, they were offering it. So that's what they had. And Ryan couldn't open a PDF, um, yeah. because of the, the, the quality of the service. So we upgraded them. Um, the library had fiber connection. So we fiber connected them to offshoot off the libraries. Um, and, uh, that is their new and it will cost a year for their internet and um, services, so, in telephone lines. <laughs> it was necessary. <laughs> I was thinking he could just go over to the library and use one of them. Do y'all remember it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I was, again, surprised myself. So, you play that for the kids now? I don't even know what it is. For a couple of um, middle schoolers a few weeks ago, and they're like, what is that? And I'm like, you don't want to know. It's frustration. That's what that is. Um, so that's why that line has to be had years years. up. I assume that's due to ages and you got his, history mm -hmm. from this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, also, you'll see there's two new line items in uh, their contracted services. One mm -hmm. is the CSI, the new record retention software. That is the uh, FD's share of the PD's new um, yep. record retention software. Um, so that's a new line item that'll be attributed to the fire department. And then it, below it, you also see a vehicle insurance deductible. We don't have any place in anywhere in our budgets that counts for any sort of deductible that we have when we have all these little instances. Just kidding. So um, in the bigger budgets, the FD and the PD, um, you're going to see an insurance, and in, in the highway, you're going to see an insurance deductible line. So if anything were to come up, um, we would have the funds to cover our, our share of the deductible. Recreation? They've got three or four vehicles. We might have added it in rec too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You hope you never have to use you it. You hope you never have to use it, but um that's why they call it insurance. That's why they call it insurance, but you know, you get a couple in a year and then yep. you're wondering where you're pulling that from. So. Mm -hmm. um, but the big one is the truck repairs. Well, it's not that big a jump in it's not as big a jump as I expected in propane either. Um where are we on propane? On heating fuel. Um 500 bucks. Mm, yeah, I expected more. Diesel feels crazy. Yeah, I think we oh. looked at their current budget and um, what they had uh, accounted for last year and what they had spent this year, and I think we were okay. Is the bunker gear replacing or? Yes, four sets. Four sets. It's a replacement for existing. Correct. And I guess they, they do four sets every year because they, they do it. Yeah, exactly. They do it. There's a, so rather than doing it all together and having them all expire yeah. around the same time, they've been doing it on a rotation. I believe this has been a line item for the last few years in, like our, in like their the budget. Before this goes to the budget committee, can we, can we just update? Like it says helmets, three. At three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. well, that'd be nine hundred dollars. Not eighteen. But not eighteen. Oh yeah, that's six hundred right there. So, so you're either buying more helmets or they cost more. They cost more. The three three six hundred, I believe so. All right, and then the same thing with with the bunker, bunker, with the bunker gear. gear. All right, that number should be adds five thousand. Right. Boots number is correct. Boots number is correct. You could probably take out that whole line out of the mechanical gate. That boy's boil broke. Wait, what? You see it? It's oh, not yeah, jumping, yeah, yeah. but I would just take it right out of there. Okay. Is that is that just not worth doing? It, it's not worth doing and it's unnecessary. 
Um, Ron explained up further up, there was a tie-in that was not, no one was aware of, so that's not needed. Up at the, like, reservoir above that? Correct. Which is probably, well, it's higher right. thing, so you're pumping less. Right, exactly. Okay, got yeah. it. So let's just cross that out, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you'll see that budget came in. Yeah, it went down. A little under. Excellent. That doesn't happen very often. Nope. <laughs> well, it's because it get rid of a salary. Mm -hmm. You have half a salary. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm good. All right. Emergency management. Emergency management. Uh, that's Chad, and he kept it flat. He um, admittedly. Um, the hazard mitigation plan, we were unable to update it this year. It wasn't due to us. It was due to the state and June Garneau's availability. Mm -hmm. So we didn't spend those funds this year, but we're going to have to definitely update our mitigation plan. And we're going to try to next year. Gotcha. Um, to, didn't we just do that? You did your... Um, OME. You did, you did right. the other... You, you the other you, portion of the it. The other portion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know that uh, he had talked about, and this was his first year doing some kind of a, an emergency drill of some sort or something through this. And I know he hasn't, and mostly due to staffing mm -hmm. um, shortages and whatnot. I'm just curious if he plans on doing anything. I know years ago they did a, was it like a school bus rollover drill or a bus or something yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. that was, that was, I'm talking probably 15 or so years ago. Okay. Every once in a while, they do something on the front field of the school with a couple of rolled over cars and mm -hmm, some kids sure. and yeah. whatnot. I'm just curious if he has, I know, you know, COVID kind of shut everything down for a while and now staffing is an issue. Um, no, I think, you know, the community thinks those things are important and I just didn't know if he had any intentions. I don't know the answer to that, but I can definitely ask him. Fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. I know it comes out of this budget too. So okay. All right. Any other discussion on that one? No. All right. Public works. Um, so you'll see the wages. Um it's a little bit higher than the six percent, but that's because um, we uh, went, entered. Yeah, yeah, we adjusted and we entered into a contract with Nate hey, yep. this year. Right. So, and you'll see his big ones in contracted services are due to certified computers and um, the update we needed. Um, Certified is pushing, um, uh, what is it called? To, to something authorization to, I uh, can't think of the now. Two step authorization. Two step authorization yeah. for all the computer, <laughs> for the SCADA systems. And I'm not, this isn't SCADA system, but for, right, right, for everything right, yeah. essentially across the board, we're, we're, we're upgrading certain um, IT functions throughout our, our computer database. So you're going to see that bump up a little bit. But everything else in that they go completely flat. And then heating fuel again, yep. that's unfortunately is what it is. Um, and then he did bump up street paint a little bit um, from last year. I don't really don't remember why he did that. It might have just be the cost of cost. Paint. Yeah. I remember him mentioning that at one point. Cost okay. was, yeah. Price yeah, he did okay. He said, um, we, we, we looked at what he had budgeted and what he, he had just ordered a big um, a, a purchase. He said that would get us through the, the first half of this mm -hmm. year, he thinks, or the first half of next year. So, um, uh, he does really good with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's um, his like um, he didn't go up at all with his gas or diesel. No, because we look at what he had spent today, mm -hmm. and um, for his high, for his uh, where are we?
He had eight. What line is that? Six thirty-five. He spent ten. He's only spent no, eleven. He spent yeah eleven, and he had eighteen budgeted. So yeah. he thinks he would be fine with the 19. with the nineteen. <clears throat> so I was going to get too many storms. We're okay. Right. The diesel is crazy. Big. Very expensive. And no kidding. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying any more diesel trucks. That's all there is to it. And then everything else. Then you get electric tow trucks. Yes. Good idea. <laughs> Absolutely. S solar pilot. Oh, that'd be great. Wind and solar. Hey, I could talk and into it. I would in a heartbeat. I am fine with Nate's budget. Yep. Street lighting. Yeah, street light. We, you know, it was. Kind of a shot in the dark. Um, <laughs> we're, we're we're hoping um, to date right now we've spent uh, forty four and change. Um, so with, with another month month, yeah, of of, of the higher billing. I was gonna say yeah. because the second half is always yeah was yeah. higher than the first half. Yeah. Correct. And right. Next year we're gonna have twelve months. And next year we're gonna have twelve twelve months of higher exactly. So that's why we bumped it up the that thirty percent. Thirty percent. Um, because we think we'll get close to the 53 mark this year. Or... Now, they don't meet of those lights. They charge on a per light basis. Is that correct? I don't know the answer to that question. But... Correct. You know, I'm not sure. It's a, it's the, it's it's a, a street it's a light. light. Or... It's a per pole. It's or... a per no. light. Yeah, per we light. Find that it's out. per yeah. light. They do, but they, they, and they go up a certain percentage every year normally. Well, I think it's based on the usage. The, they're they're no the use they don't measure not the usage. usage their cost. rate their cost their yes cost. yeah yeah I'll find that out definitely how we get charged that because I don't know I they do it's a per light it's a per light because yeah. yeah. so, yeah. we have yeah. the option to shut a bunch off once remember when the state went through and they got rid of ninety nine percent of them on the interstate they oh the I to take that. Some, or, yeah. yeah. Right or not? Oh, take right. Yeah. That was it. Right. Not shutting them up, taking over the ones that the state was going to shut off. Right, right. And and we remember did that a couple of them. We mm -hmm. did like three a corner. We ended up that doing that in, Can yeah. in Canton as well, on the on ramps and off. A few of them. There were right. we said, yeah, no, we you don't, don't need them. them. We don't and need them. Right. Some that we and didn't. there were plenty yeah. we didn't. Right? Sure. Um, it should, yeah, it should. Just, I'll just for my own curiosity want to know how we're being charged in that. Yeah. No matter what, it's it is what it is. What it is. Yeah. All right. Solid waste. Which I meant to say something earlier in regular meeting. Um, I continue to get praise and comments on John McKay and the solid waste facility. I mean, if not a weekly basis, at least a bi-weekly basis, I hear comments and and um, praise mm -hmm. and how pleasant it is and how nice it looks. And I think they're working really well as a team yeah. down there. I think overall, um, the appearance of the place. Okay. The the flow the they, flow they have the whole atmosphere. Uh, I can't speak to what it was before, but no. I can say that you know I I we received the same things that it just seems as if it's working down there. Whatever they got going on yeah. is working. It is. Yeah. It, it was not good for a long time. Right down there, honestly. And, and you're gonna see you know the biggest jump we have right is, is the wages you know on that first line, and that's with the addition of the the, the new employee. Yeah. yeah. And um. I think it, it 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 was needed, and um, I think it's you know working out well, especially because we also know that um, one of the employees down there will most likely have to take some time off yeah. in twenty three, yeah. so it gives us that additional backup as well. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can't say yeah, that. We can't public. say public. public. No. Um, I've heard good things about it. Mm -hmm. I go there on a regular basis, and um, myself also. The 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 new employee is. Great. Yeah. All they're, all, they're, all, they're all good. They're all, they're all great. great. They are all great. Um, yes. Scott, Joe, John. Yep. They're all good people. Yeah. I remember pulling in there and going stuff as fast as you can't just get out of there. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now it's like, where is everybody? Hello. Right. Yeah. yeah. So different. Can you pass that on to me and will. the guys down there? I'm just, I hear it all the time. So yep. I definitely will. My husband's favorite place to shop. <laughs> um. <laughs> One, this is sort of budget related, but sort of not, is the, um, uh, what do you call it, paperboard and newspaper recycling. Mm -hmm. Cardboard? Uh, well, this corrugated cardboard yep. we recycle. Right. Right. Newspaper magazines, those things. And paperboard. 
which is like your cereal box. Yeah, right. Right. So many things are, you think it's, it's majority, not no, not. but it's paperwork. Right. Um, we don't recycle that. We do not. There's many other towns that do. Correct. Is there, there's a cost involved. I think right now there's a, that's, I think it with, used to be no where there involved. was no cost involved, but we didn't make anything didn't make for a long it. time. Now there's a cost, cost involved. involved to get rid of it. Yes. Okay. Is that cost less than what it costs us to get rid of what's in the dumpster? Uh, yeah, I, I, I it's think, comparable. yeah, I think it's, I think it's a, a pretty close. Yeah. So by taking that out of the waste stream, it doesn't save us any money. No. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't do that, OJ, though. A minuscule amount. A lot of people just tossed it in with a regular trash, no matter what. I mean, I saw, you know, I used to do actually separated. I and did, then, yeah. You know, and then I saw, you know, I'd go over there and people were throwing cereal boxes and little paper boxes and all this crap I, into the regular trash bin without separating. I mean. And I think it's a challenge because um, they're, the contamination, like it can't be wet, it can't be, so like it's the storage and the maintenance of the, like mm -hmm. where they have to hold it and how they have to, it, mm -hmm. it is, um, Expen not expensive, but it's uh, time, it's time consuming, consuming. It, consuming, and it and could be for it could be a fruitless effort if they say no, we're not taking that because it's too wet or it's contaminated right. or whatever, whatever. Is, yeah, right. And it, it was longer. The corrugated um, gets taken or shipped or whatever more often than the other, mm -hmm. and it was a storage storage, storage as well. Right. Yeah. No, I mean especially here. We go through a lot of paper, right? Yeah. And we see, would... I'm a, I, I recycle, and I, because I, and I went and asked the same thing, and said, "Look, why can't we do this?" And then they explained it. And it's like, okay. So that's that's nice. I, I just know that when we used to we used separate to... newspaper and paperboard, yeah. mm -hmm. half the trash was gone. I half the trash yes. was gone. It would, it would be the point we would empty the trash mm -hmm. because of the smell, not because of how full it is. Right. Right. And and with the because you have no children. Just okay. saying, <laughs> have a kid, that'll change. <laughs> Get in the yellow folder while you're. All right. Thanks. Oh, I just knocked all the care. signs and right. things. We know how to do it. Oh. We don't know how to do it at this point. We need yeah. to give up. You can't find it. All right. That's, that was my question on waste disposal. Now we can go back to this. Um, you're gonna see, so you're gonna see uh, certified computer maintenance that went down because we got an itemized bill of what it actually cost us to do the um, PayPal and the account, everything that's oh, down fantastic. there, and that's actually what their share is. Good. Um, and also, this was something that was brought up last year um, at the budget committee meetings. Um, is we charge um, Woodstock for the property and liability on the community building, but we were never charging them. So our half is 361. Well, we we were well, we were charging them, but we were charging them based on what we asked, what was an estimate, I guess. I don't really know how we had this 4100. And then we asked Primex to itemize out every single thing. And they're telling us that the solid waste facility only cost $361. So Woodstock had been paying on 4,400? 4,100. 4,100. So we felt it was fair to bring it down to actually what Absolutely. 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 <laughs> Thank you Absolutely. for that. Sure. Uh, how sort of hazardous, hazardous waste we did a lot this we year. Did, did it yeah. this year. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yep. We get a grant for that anyway, don't we? Um, I think we used to. I don't think we do I anymore. We did. Yes. We do? I asked Nate about it because I found it this he year. Said, he said he put in for it. Okay. Yeah. I don't recollect that, but I could be mistaken. When, we were, when I was looking at stuff for um, a police fire building, okay. it, it was there. And I asked him about it. He goes, yeah, yeah, I fill that out every time. Oh, okay. so, I'm yeah. sure he did. If he said he did, I, yeah. I, you know. I think it's 50% of it, honestly. It so was yeah, 2,500 yeah. or something. And then heating fuel obviously went yep. up the roughly 30%. Um, but the biggest change in this budget is the um, wages, the wages, that and and our waste management contract. Remember, right. we had spoken about that. Yeah. Time, so. What's eating? Huh? What's eating? Stop. Where is that? Eaten under four eleven. 
<laughs> Total heat, heat and fuel. Oh, heat, heat and hey, we're from New England. How we? Oh, we, oh, we look at that last time, the last night, and said um, <laughs> instead of county taxes, it was country taxes on one of our files. Take a look at that one. I, I could have put it that way. Only the guy from Massachusetts. Yeah, come on. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. All right. Sewage disposal. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's right. Uh, sewage disposal, you're going to see our really our only increase is the um, H2O innovations contract, which is, we, re we negotiate with them every year. Five, yeah. five percent, which yeah, I mean, less than coal level. We were hoping yeah. to be able to, yeah, I mean, that's better than we thought. So. I see the testing backflow we've eliminated. We yeah. have because we're in house we're doing it in house. Our newest employee just got certified in the backflow prevention uh, certification program, so we're going to do it in house. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I'm good with that. All right, water treatment. Uh, yeah, this you're going to see is being driven by. Um, chemicals and, and supplies. Um, so the wages, um, now the wages aren't. Yes, so that is because we had personnel changes and the okay. new employee is doesn't have as many certifications as our former employee, it, so right. is getting paid at a lower rate. Okay. Is that anticipating what he'll get for certifications coming this year? Yes, fantastic. Yes, we've already built that in uh, his first uh, fantastic. certification, yeah. With the annual SCADA update. Um, yes, you're also going to see the, our, our biggest jump in contracted services right. is um, the, the clean the storage tanks mm -hmm. every five years. Yeah. Um, Nate says that's actually a better price than what he thought they paid at the last time, Fantastic. which he was very surprised at. Excellent. Um, he thought it was in the 20s the last time they did it. So uh, having it be at the 12, you know, four is Excellent. Um, he thought was a good rate. So. And do they they do three tanks for that? Uh, Clip, Clearbrook, Forest Ridge, Sloan. Yes. Yes. Hmm. I know that they have to get divers oh. in there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, to clean the tanks. Yeah. yeah. I want to say it might be. Do we only have three tanks? Where do we have another tank? Forest, Forest Ridge. Yep. The, the village, village, the village of Clearbrook, whatever, in between there. Okay. And Indian Head. And the boys. Yeah, okay. Indian right. Head is one. It's yeah. not because it's different than the wells because the wells were done. The wells aren't. No, right. it's yes. different. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no. Okay. That's it. I mean, we'll have a fourth. Yeah, we will have a fourth eventually. eventually right. Right. Where were we at with that while we were on that? No. Have we heard anything from the Forest Service? No. No. Nothing further other than that, other than that last one. Yeah. Or they're taking their time. Mm -hmm. I think twelve thousand dollars is a good deal for. Yeah, I mean, for three times. You do that in writing, painting in, in stone with blood sealed on down, down into that. Yeah. Yeah. In the ground. <laughs> um, I mean, Nate just got that quote about two weeks ago. So yeah, 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 that's great. great. Yeah. Thank you, Nate. The the instrumentation calibration and service. I, I assume that's at the water treatment plant. Although the the, the um. Instruments up there. Yes, then they, we contract with the hatch yeah, to do that. Yes, right. and and why is this data update so much? Um, components this year. I components. feel like something. I'm going to have to get further clarification on this. Nate and I talked about it, but I'm drawing a blank okay. about why it went up so dramatically. Um, I'm going to have to. I'm gonna to have to get with Nate on that because okay. I, I know we talked about it when we went over his budget, but I can't remember the exact reason why. Uh, and then the consumer confident uh, reports, um, we're gonna send those out individually now. Not um, with the not with the tax, tax bills. bills. So um, legally, we're not supposed to send anything right. out with the tax bills. Um, so um, we're just gonna do it the right way. Okay. Like, we do we put that in with them? No. No. No, you can put in the notes box, you know, you could do something yeah. like that, but um, you're not supposed to put any stuffers in with it. Is that like a state requirement? Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's a DES requirement. To send those out. To send Wait, those out. DES or DRA? No, DES, consumer confidence. The CCR reports are a DES. Okay, okay so, so I'm not supposed to put anything in with the 
The okay. consumer we're comment report. with the GES report. But the no, report. we're not supposed to put anything in with the tax, tax bills. bills. So that'd be a GRA. That's a DRA. I thought you meant. Yeah, I thought you meant. Okay, okay, right. GES requires. Say, which, one, which one is protected? The tax bill is the protected. The tax bill is protected. Yeah. yeah, they don't care about the CCR report. <laughs> okay. Well, that's well I mean, DES does, but. thought, okay. but okay. Um, no, we're still. We're not under. We we were under mandate to send out more of those reports because of the consecutive three quarters or two quarters right. or whatever of of um, levels of levels. Right. right. Okay. Now, are we still? Uh, I don't believe so. I believe in twenty twenty two we only did one report. Okay. So yes. this is just going back to this what was we going back to what you previously did. Yeah, I wasn't aware that you did more in a previous. year. We had to do that one uh, one year. Yes. Or two years. You have to have so many tests in a row. That, right. 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 And right. we kept missing the fall when all the leaves right. and okay. the late fall. Water. So then yeah. you had to send out a yeah. test. Right. Yeah. Right. So we yeah. for that one quarter we'd go over and that and then you had to send them out. Send them out for the next three that quarters. Yeah. yeah. And then we trigger again. And, and then digital testing, yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And electricity is going to go up because that's what water's all about. Because that's what water's all about. How long is the electric upgrade loan for? Do you know the end date on that? Just a uh, total curiosity. Nothing else. I don't. No. Okay, no big deal. I'm just curious. It's a thousand bucks a year. Yeah. yeah, and no, not that it's. I'm not yeah, no, I'm just yeah. curious. No, I don't know. Okay. Right. So other than that, chemicals, chemicals, the right. only other thing, and that's that's a, bucks. yeah minimal. Oh, mm -hmm. awesome. I'm good with that. Thank I'm you. Good with that. Yep. Offsetting revenue, that 4000 from Loon will continue, correct? Correct. Same amount? I believe so, yes. Yeah. All right, we're good to keep going? Mm -hmm. All right, community building. I see 6% across all of the, the wage lines. Yep. Yeah. And then the only other big thing you're going to see... Um, on this line, or yeah. one of the big things, is the contracted cleaning service. And Tara really does not want to go in another direction. She says they are um, the best, phenomenal, phenomenal the phenomenal. best cleaners. That and I think she, that's still less than what she was paying previously. Yeah, I, I, I can't speak to that. I do, I do know it's a big jump. When COVID but, hit, we lost our cleaner and they should have contracted out and it, she was up against the gun and it was COVID mm -hmm. and there were children and their seniors right. and and it was huge and I believe this is still less than what that was and and they are I, I keep asking you don't you want them for here I, I do but I, I want them for for, I want them for my house no they are I mean who does, who does it over there um uh, it's a husband and wife team a little right, right. Oh, yeah. okay, okay yeah okay. yeah and they are just phenomenal. I sub at the child care center yeah. occasionally. They clean it. They're they're too. slightly yeah. bigger. Like they have more clients than the you know who we have around right. here. They're more commercial than they are residential. Right. So, um, just for the sake of it, five hundred a week times fifty weeks is twenty five thousand, right? I think five hundred a week is what she was approximating it was, but you're right. That doesn't make sense. That's that if you do the math, that's what last year's was five hundred a week. Fifty two weeks is twenty six hundred dollars. Oh, so then she's saying an increase of fifty dollars per day. So it's now it's seven fifty. Okay. So versus 50 yeah, right. versus yeah. Oh, okay. Seven fifty a week. Seven fifty. Yeah. Well, if you look up what we're paying for this building. What the library's paying for their building, what the community building's paying for their building. The PD. We could hire the PD. Manager. We could hire a, a full time person. benefited, mm -hmm. well, good. cleaner and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, but for add up those four numbers town building, PD, PD library. Well, maybe that's something to explore for next year. Sure. For the following well no i mean we can budget this amount but we can make changes whenever contracts come come up without right right, right. yes yeah. that's what i mean for look, next year look, look into it then yeah in 23 we'll look into start it, yeah. looking into it the, the key there like is you make the change in the middle of 
Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. The the key there is finding the employee. Mm -hmm. The the right employee. Exactly. Right. Uh, it's going to have to be someone trustworthy, I mean, mm -hmm. dependable, and a, a self initiator, self starter, because they'll be doing it in off hours. They'll be by themselves most likely. Well, that's the thing is, is they're also going to be in this building off hours. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the PD is open 24-7. Yeah, right, right. The library off hours, the community center They're off hours. hours. Right. When do they clean the community center now? At night. At night. At night. Yeah. At night. Right. Because they wait up till the kids are gone and you know. I didn't know if they did it early in the morning. No, I think they do it overnight. Okay. Yeah. No, they they'd have to do it prior to 7:30. Like yeah, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, something to look into anyway. Which right. is a good idea. You know, it's 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 a lot of money that we're spending. And it, right, and again, right. um it's it's one of the highest demand jobs in this town sure. with all of the hotels mm -hmm. is good cleaners mm -hmm. so so it's well all you have to do is look at home run and see how many tr trucks uh, oh, you know yeah. he's got and he just bought a golf course yeah. so you know what the hell you know yeah it's it, anyway it's making money or his wife is making money for him mm -hmm. Something like that. She's yeah. good. She's All right. Good. And then we added the line item for their share of the property and liability insurance. Oh, okay. Did that come out of the insurance? I don't, yeah, I don't think we were splitting it previously. No, but, but in the insurance budget, do we take the quote and then subtract this and subtract... Not that it's a lot of money, but it's four thousand bucks between this and solid waste. I'll have to confirm with Jonna because Jonna did the insurance one, but I'll check. Oh, she did. She did it with calculations. Oh, she did. Okay. She told us what the quote was: less solid waste, less community building. Total municipal portion, oh, and that's yeah. okay. okay. I shouldn't have questioned if she's just, awesome. Yeah, no, they I was like, one. knowing Jonna, she did, she did, yeah. <laughs> Not only did she do it, she fully explained it on the page, so it's clear. So, thank you, Jonna. And then, cleaning supplies, we buy our own cleaning supplies over there, so that went up um, significantly as well. I don't think it's all of them, though. Okay. You know, we obviously the soap and stuff like that, but they do they have the those um disinfectant wipes. Well, the tables for the after school program and um things that we use. We use to clean not necessarily on a daily on a daily basis. Yeah. Spills yeah, and spills yeah. messes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Um I don't think it's all of them, but that's and their kids, they're messy. Yeah, they're gross. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. 100%. I don't know. I don't have any. Well, I'm I, I can promise that's why you, that that's why you take your trash out and it stinks. Out. That's right. Yeah. Mine never gets to the point where it stinks. Like, it doesn't stay a lot. People are getting way too personal on this <laughs> recording Gosh. session. We're human. Mm. It's okay. So, our project this year. Is the airlock entryway? Yeah. Yes. We tried to do it last year. And is that on both entrances? It is. Um, well, they're doing the, the entryway coming in. Um, right now, the um, the enter entrance of the child care center is not compliant, ADA compliant. So they're reconfiguring it. So there's going to be one ADA compliant ramp coming in the center and then going off to each. They have to. We don't have a choice. So, so that whole ramp going up on the left side is not going to be used anymore? No, the tanks are going to be moved there. We're going to redo the entrance so that we can do the airlock entryway. That's part of it. I mean, it, it's either that or don't do it because there's, there's not room to do it and stay ADA compliant on either doorway. Mm -hmm. I'm just picturing it. In yeah. You'll come I think, I think, it, I think if you left that ramp there, you could continue it across the front of the building and have the same ramp going we, up. But we can't but then, put the tanks in the front because it's too close to the road. We have to move the tanks that way. 
Yeah. Uh, so plus you couldn't put an airlock on the community center door because it would block right, right. access to the next. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I know that's quite the expense and Tara's even having a hard time finding a contractor that would even quote us. I know we were trying to like at least get some of the, the concrete work or some of the, the you know, the, 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 the um, lumber to do some of the stuff this and Tara's having a real hard time just getting someone to try to get over there and give her a quote to get some of the stuff so we can even try to attempt to maybe encumber some of the funds that we raised this year right but um we haven't been successful on that yeah has she talked to Jake I believe so I think that's who's doing it yes is he mm -hmm. yeah. is that Jake Blanger? Blanger. yeah I believe he was the one that we were trying to at least cumber some of the funds to get him at least some he's of He's so busy. He's, he's good. Uh, I know, he but does his fabulous work. He's, he's got done. employees now. I know. Good for Isn't him. that amazing? Talking with his father yesterday. Yeah. We were with VRS yesterday. I know. He's, he did a couple of projects to me, but I think I think now he's too big. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, too busy, too, which is great. Which is he a good does, um, thing. He does great work. Yeah. Great he's a good kid. Yeah. All right. Can't kid. Community yeah. Golden. I'm good. We good? Health agencies. Mm, I saw that one coming. The ambulance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did the budget committee approve that? Budget committee hasn't, it yet. hasn't seen it yet. Oh, it hasn't seen that. No. Okay. We're, this is where the No, no, I didn't know if any, if, you know, the different departments had come before. No. And, and made their pitch. Nobody's no. gone to the budget committee at all. Okay. Well, it, it's the selectman's budget that goes to the yep. budget committee, no, so they haven't seen anything. Is the Red Cross not asking for anything? Um, so we instituted this year a, um, yeah, we didn't re receive a request, but we also instituted a form in which everyone had to um, uh, fill out and submit mm -hmm. that kind of standardized thing. So we yep. know exactly right how much people are asking for and what other sure. channels are given and all that stuff, and they never um, fulfilled that okay. end of things. Same with mid-state. Same with mid-state. Let's go to the, the, the ambulance. Um, I remember when I was on the budget committee, they went from 40,000 to 60,000. It was a big hullabaloo. Then they went up to 75,000. Now they're asking for 50,000. One of the things that bothered me was there was a document handed out that wasn't supposed to be handed out. And it showed what they had written off in bad debt, not even through a collection agency over $600,000. I was shocked. I mean, I was shocked. Mm -hmm. I said, how the hell can you run a company like that? And then somebody came up to me confidentially like two years later and said, if you believe that BS, he said, you, you're, you're nuts because they're telling you stories up there that I'm just saying, this is one of the boys said this. Um, so, you know, I mean, this should be scrutinized. I was on the ambulance board for a number of years. Yeah. Um, and they are a nonprofit, and Off. there's you can go online and look at their financials. Yeah, no, so, no, yeah, no. I believe that their financials looks like the town's are absolutely public record, absolutely. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, and they're available, and I know people that have that questioned it then and yeah. went online and looked. Okay. Well, and I know that I, you know, I sat down with Chief Tauber, I don't know, sometime this summer, um, and it, it's 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 not a common practice anymore to uh, write off uh, locals residents um, insurance bills, and they are still continuing that practice. And I think that probably accounts for a large percentage of their write offs. Which I think is noble. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that it's right. not noble. I'm just saying that that if they didn't write off the amount of um, collections they had for people with a zip code in Lincoln or Woodstock, right. they would probably bring in a lot more. Yeah. And I, I mean, a lot of that can be, be not, not putting standard. it on people, but, but putting it on the entities that, that provide insurance to those people, whether it be Medicare, Medicaid, whatever the case might be, other carriers. I mean, it, it struck me as a, you know, being in a business model that there was that much of a write-off without even giving it to a collection agency. Like you said, we're 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 a nonprofit that serves the town. They do use Comstar. They do. They do. They do. They do. They use Comstar collection agency. I know that. The thing with it though too is that if they 
bring you know Jane Doe to the hospital and the cost the, their bill is two thousand dollars. Yeah. And they send that in and then Medicare or yeah, Medicaid or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. they can't go after Jane Doe for the right. remainder. Right. If it's a Medicare or Medicaid. I remember that Medicare or Medicaid tell, someone's yeah. telling us that yeah. and a lot they of that cannot. that debt write off. They was, don't have a choice. Medicare, you know, right. the fixed, the fixed, the fixed, fixed, fixed price. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it doesn't matter if yeah. there's add-ons or not. If if Medicare, Medicaid, or whatever pays six hundred dollars. If, if they spent nine thousand for giving meds and everything else, it doesn't matter. They're only getting six hundred bucks. Well, and I will say this: I came from a community that ran its own ambulance service. It's a bargain. You can't, you can't run an ambulance can't touch service it. for one hundred and seventy-five thousand yeah. dollars. No, no, one twenty-five. One twenty-five. No, yeah, no. you couldn't if, run it for one hundred and seventy-five. If you put the run it for, do you put the two towns, two towns together right. at two fifty? You can't run it for that either. No. No, I, I can remember going through the ambulance, you know, when I was on the budget committee, I went over and met with them. And, you know, they showed me, I mean, the ambulance had roughly a hundred thousand dollars worth of drugs and equipment on, and that has to be replaced every so many years. I mean, to keep up with yes. the, their licensing yeah. and standardized. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, there's a lot of expenses that are un unknown or unseen to the general public, including myself at the time. No, no, I'm just saying. But it is a big jump. They uh, have a yeah. very good um, replacement schedule and plan oh, for yeah. their rigs as well. So that normally, yeah. knock on wood, when they do have to replace an ambulance, they can pay for it, not have to finance it, which is fantastic. Um, not always, but that's the goal. <laughs> we all know how that goes. No, no, the, the reason why I raise it, because we'll probably get hit with questions oh, huge. on the budget committee may or whatever. I think it might be beneficial if we invite them in to the budget committee or to the budget committee or even absolutely I mean, to, even to the no selection question. i mean if you're i'm fine this with budget, it i'm fine with it because i know what it entails the thing the budget i'd rather go to, to a budget committee and listen to it and listen to it sure because i think it's important for the budget committee to all all hear it agree then, then then i'm not interpreting what what oh mr yeah, Traber said no, right. when, Chief when, Traber, when, when they make the appearance before the budget committee there's 12 members of the, the ambulance in the audience. Yes. Right. You've been there, Timmy. Yeah. Okay. You know yeah. Yep. They, they come and they answer their questions. And yeah. I, I'd rather do it with the budget committee. I'll show up for that. Sure. I think we already have them scheduled, so I can just let you guys know what the date is, and we'll just plan it for that night. I'd yeah. like to also, and, and I don't mind doing it. I did it last time. I, I approached a couple of private ambulance services and said, what, you know, oh, ballpark figure. Like, no matter. What would it be for three regs staffed? In this town or in these two towns, and I mean, it, you can't touch it. Even the yeah. best, you can't oh, touch yeah. it. I mean, they were upwards of six, seven, eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Um, as a ballpark estimate. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Captain Captain Thornton. You know, it was fire and EMT and the ambulance service it had over a million dollar budget. Right. Mm -hmm. And they have. Um, Captain Thornton has two rigs, correct? Uh. Vehicles, yeah, or two ambulances. ambulances, yeah, two yeah, ambulances, two. yeah. Do we have three? We have three, yeah. yeah. So not. All right, I'm I'm good with this yeah. this budget. Yeah, we'll just make sure I'll make a note that we um invite them in invite whatever them day in that they're on. The, yeah, you have, you have that schedule, yes. I do. Okay. Welfare. She is fantastic with welfare as far as keeping that budget down. Yeah, she she was under budget last time I looked, and I haven't looked at the November. Of the she's extremely budget. she's extremely under budget. Yeah, she is. Um, she's spent twenty five hundred. That's going to go up this month, though. Because I'm sure with and tri county so and tri county cap is uh, no longer. Um, Tri County Cap has been paying a uh, for the last since COVID hit. Uh, you know, some many residents, not many residents, but there's a, a group a few, of residents, yeah. a few residents, um, their rental for the last few years, and they've been paying an exorbitant amount. And I know that we most likely are going to have to absorb a little bit of that in this month. Um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw that two thousand dollars or whatever it is go to five or six in this month alone. And do you think that'll continue into twenty twenty three? I think ten still fine. 
I think okay. what she's got right. budgeted is okay. Okay. We should look to the state for you know because the state was recently talking to the feds about getting some additional funds for that through APA yeah. and uh, you know knowing that the um, term was coming to an end, but they realized that people were still suffering. So yes, yeah. uh, they might have some money we can look into. The um, the thing with welfare too is it can be overspent without. Going to you can have a year you don't spend a dime, you can have a year that you double exactly, your budget. You yeah. know, it's it's all right, based but, on. but we're required to spend whatever it takes. We don't can't we correct. You can't say no, right, right. we, we ran out of money. We ran out of money and overspend that right. budget. Right. And can I be the killjoy and absolutely stop here? What? We just get into the fun. I know. That kids to get to bed. Yeah, that's fine. We get sure. You okay? Yeah. All right. Good. Well, we get a good, a yeah. good chunk yeah. of them. We did. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let me stop. All right, um, we still need to win a non-public. Yes, yep. that's why I'm not to stop here. Okay, I'll make a motion we go to non-public to discuss one legal issue and two personnel, personnel oh. issues. I'm sorry, again. No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're gonna shut the recording off and then we'll roll. Can I have the yellow? Oh, you do. Mm -hmm.